after setting up all the um, setting up the stream and whatnot. Hopefully everyone's doing all right today. Been uh, watching Pirates of the Caribbean again. I'm doing a second run through all the films of the Pirates of the Caribbean, and I hadn't even seen them to be honest until like literally over, like a couple of weeks ago. Now I'm watching them all again. They're pretty good. Okay, let's create some fighters. So who are we gonna make? First, second, and third takes Kazmot. Nice, bro. You're here fast. Nice and early. Taylor Holder. All right, let me start with Taylor Holder then. I saw your comment on my video as well, actually. Who's this guy? He's a TikToker, yeah? We'll start off with this guy then. Uh, okay, cool. I don't know about the hairstyle, but probably can get the rest down. Hope you guys are all doing right today. We'll start with a TikToker, Taylor Holder. So social media guy we're starting with. Then maybe we'll jump to WWE or AEW maybe after that. And then we'll jump to probably UFC. We've done quite a few boxes yesterday. I don't know if we'll do any boxes today. Maybe Willie Pep. I don't know. Let's see. And how you guys all doing, man? Eli is in the house. Jack Hill is in the house. Zachary's in the house. Eli again. Mindrain. Declan. Mindrain. Fight Night Production says perfect timing. Can you make Chaos Williams says Rhino? Let me jot that one down. And uh, you know what? You know what? Let me not. I, I, what I'll do is I'll scroll up. I'll scroll up later. Let me just start this and get this one done. And then I'll scroll up later and look through the suggestions. Okay. Brian Ortega, Lionel Messi, Lionel Messi, Lionel Messi. Depending on how you say it. Okay, cool. So this, um, this guy is a TikToker, I believe, something like that. I'm gonna just pick maybe this hairstyle. Um, have, I got, have I got the right picture? Um, the guy who was asking for this. Let me know if I got the right picture. And Final Productions has just finished the training. Sounds good. How was it? How's the training session? I had, uh, I did yesterday. What did I do yesterday? Did bag work and I did weights yesterday. Today I just done bag work. Yesterday was kickboxing Muay Thai kind of rounds on the bag and then weights after. Um, in terms of weights, I was doing squats, I did pull-ups, dips and um, bench press. And then today I've just done boxing rounds on the bag. I did like five, six boxing rounds, about half an hour worth. Minute, Not even a minute break, like 10 second, 20 second break, something like that. Just while I change songs, <laughs> something like that. Tyron Appleton. Dude, how you doing, man? How you doing? I hope you're doing okay, bro. I saw your comment the other day and, you know, hopefully you're doing okay today. And hope you're feeling better, mate. Someone's asking for Lionel Messi, Thomas Shelby. What's up, Gwez? How's it going, man? How you been, bro? Nice and Emerson. Aiden, big news. Okay, what's the big news, dude? Tell me, is, is uh, have they got is Max Holloway gonna fight this weekend or something? I don't know why I started off giving him boxing gear. I'm just from yesterday. We were doing so many boxes yesterday. I'm just automatically already gone and giving him boxing gear. Let's just uh, let's sort this out real quick. Catch up on the chat. Thomas Selby, yeah, but you know what? Because Zachary, you've been asking me for a while, and you're a regular like on the streams. I don't think I've done any of your requests, so I'm, I'm at, I'll put that one on. I'll probably do that one next. Then I'll do film star. Mike Tyson versus Vander Holyfield. No way. Do you know what I'm more shocked about? Not that the announcement that you made, not that not that those two are fighting, but that they're fighting on May the 29th. That's soon, dude. That's like, that's two months away, man. I'm not shocked about the announcement, but I'm shocked about the date. I mean, if you said it was in October or something, I'd be like, okay, cool. But yeah, May, that's banging, mate. Nice. Versus Evander Holyfield. Bro, Evander Holyfield's no joke. Tyson's got a hard fight against, uh, he's got far, hard, hard fight ahead of him there. Hard fight ahead of him there. I would say, anyway, I don't know what you guys think. Hey, that's good news. Can I find a face template for this guy? Matt Riddle, Thomas Shelby. Remember when your muscle car did a wheelie and landed onto your car? Is that from the GTA last time? I need to get the highlights for that. I'll probably, I'll probably have a look after the stream and see what we can do about like, getting some highlights out of that one. I think there were a few good, few decent moments in there, weren't there? I think um, this guy's face is hard to do. I can't find a face template yet. We'll just keep looking for a little while longer. Let me catch up on the chat. Both men been training, so is that... Uh, let me catch up on the one before that. So you was doing some tricep and legs. Tricep and legs. Okay, weightlifting, yeah? How was that, dude? And uh, Owen's a regular. Yes, you are, dude. And Prokero. How's it going? Jinkuya, Yachtam. I need to learn some more. I need to learn some more phrases, man. I, I used to work with like, quite a few Polish people in one of my earlier jobs. You might be sending us. Yeah, I'm all right. All good, man. Greetings from Poland, he says. And then, yeah, okay, so it's gonna be an exhibition for Mike Tyson and Vander Holyfield, all right, cool. Hopefully, it's another eight rounder at least, because, you know, Mike was still looking fresh at the end of those eight rounds. But I don't think, I think this is a bigger challenge for him, man. Vander Holyfield's no slouch, he's got legit boxing skills as well. I don't know how old, I think he's a similar age to Mike Tyson, right? Bro, who asked for this guy? Because he, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do him. 
He's so difficult. His face shape is so difficult. We'll try. We'll try out. Mike Tyson is still a beast. Dobzrije, Aiden. I need to see. You know what? Let me translate that. Holyfield's been sparring with Klitschko. Yeah, that's a big one. Can't get much better sparring partner than Klitschko, but it's kind of different style from Mike Tyson's. But let me translate this to English, man. What does it mean? Hi, very good. Okay. Shema, Shema. Shema Bazo, Drop, Drop, I don't know how to say that. Hi, very good. Hi, very good. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Try Phil Davis. Yeah, we could we could do Phil Davis if we're going to do some MA guys later. Some Bellator guys. I'm just trying to see if I can get anywhere with this one because this one's kind of hard. Um, let me catch up. Holyfield's been sparring with Klitschko. Yes, sounds good. Jack Hill says he thinks Holyfield will win, but hope it's a draw instead. Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones. Everyone knew Mike Tyson won that. I think they purposely drew, my opinion, says Jack. Well, I mean, Mike Tyson was on the front foot for most of that fight. Roy Jones was just kind of saving time. I don't know, man. It was, you know, it was good. It was a good little thing. They weren't going too hard. And then a couple of times, they, you know, you saw a couple of flary combinations come out of Roy Jones and that. But they weren't going too mad on each other, were they? Which is good, but... I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. It, yeah, let's just see what happens, innit? And you're probably right. Because it's an exhibition, they probably will just give it a draw. Either way, man, I'm happy that fight's happening. Even though they're, you know, past their prime and that. Let me just um open up. I forgot to do all the tags, man. I always forget to do that. Let's see who else is going to jump into the mix, man. Maybe Lennox Lewis, someone even can make a comeback one day. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So this UFC 4. Precure saying, great content. I also invite you to visit me for, like, UFC and MMA. No, nah, no worries, bro. So Procaro is on his channel. He does um, MMA caps as well. He does similar stuff to what we do here. He does a lot of fighters that are from like Poland, Eastern Europe. I've seen a lot on his channel. So if you guys want to check him out, then uh, yeah, Procaro is another calf creator. And he's, uh, yeah, he's got a nice channel, man. And thank you for stopping by, bro. Holyfield's been sparring. Tommy Fury gets KO'd by Jake Paul. Nah, is it? I don't think so, bro. I don't think so. Tommy Fury is a legit... You know, he's had he's had more competition, he's had more time. He's grown up in a family of boxers as well. This calf is going nowhere. I'm sorry. Is it going anywhere? Let's keep going. I stay positive, I stay positive, but it feels like it's not going anywhere. Let's keep going. Let's keep going anyway. Ryan, how's it going, man? Can you attempt to redo Jason Miller? Yes, Jason Mayhem Miller sounds like a good name. Jens Pulver, perhaps, but I think Miller's caught my eye more. Mayhem Miller's caught my eye more there. Out of that, out of those two that you just asked for. And I think next I was going to jump to that Hollywood guy because um, one of the boys has been asking for him for a while. Let's see how we get on with this one. How's it going, Fierce? How's it going, Ryan? Tyson versus Holyfield 3. We're going to see another ear bitten off, possibly. Could happen. I doubt it, but you never know, man. Yeah, that was just out of frustration, wasn't it? That's what, that's what they were saying. Mike was so frustrated in that fight that out of frustration, he just bit off the guy's ear. Yeah, this, this kid is not happening. What's his name? Taylor Holder. Bro, I might just abandon this one. Let me have a look. Let's see if I get a different picture of him. I need like a more neutral face. Maybe actually we should do the eyebrows with um, tattoos and that. Uh, hang on, mate. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. He's smiling in all the photos. Here we go. I got one where he's not smiling. Okay, cool. Let's try this one. Uh, yeah, let me just open up the chat again. He created a deji calf. Nice. I've, I've say created a deji calf. Yeah, I've created one. I've made one before. He's in uh, one of my earlier videos. You'll see him. He's actually in the description as well of the video. It says like deji calf. It, it's like it was on um, a regular regular Friday stream where we're just playing against like each other on the game. And then at the end, I made deji as well. So you'll see in the description like, plus deji calf. Let me just um, keep pop out on this man. One sec, guys. Okay, so I've got the chat there. I've got the chat there. There's the pictures. All right, cool. We're good. We are good. What are you saying, Jack? An Emerald Crab, welcome to the stream. I just seen, I saw your calf earlier. It looks banging. Emerald Crab has put out another calf today. And it is the Jan Blachowicz. Was it Jan Blachowicz? Light heavyweight champion. Jan Blachowicz. Looking great, mate. Looking great. How quickly you put that together as well, man. Well impressive. Jack Hill says, you know what, bro? I've been thinking about Tommy Fury versus Jake Paul. I'll be honest, Jake is a good boxer, he's a <laughs> but that doesn't take away from what he's good at. I think Jake by KO or Tommy by points. You reckon Jake has got KO? 
potential over someone like Tommy Fury. I think the trouble is right. We need to see more Jake boxing like people who aren't going to give him, who aren't going to just. I mean, in his latest fight, because the guy just ran at him basically, he kind of made it a bit easier. But Jake does have a good cracking rear, rear, rear cross. You know that kind of overhand thing. It looks good, like from that fight anyway. So you know he's got a punch. But yeah, let's see what happens, man. And like I said, if he keeps at it, he's gonna become a. He will become a good boxer because he's got the right trainers and people around him. I mean, he's not gonna be world class, is he? But. Who have I got this weekend? Ryan, Ryan actually asked, you know what, I'm going to pose that question. Who you guys got this weekend? I was watching Francis Ngannou today and um, he set up like a jiu-jitsu school, like a training centre in, um, I think it's MMA, in back in his hometown. So that was pretty cool, man. I was seeing like, he's got all the, all the locals and stuff training there and I think he was taking um, mattresses as well. He took mattresses and handing out mattresses. There was like a video I think the UFC put out. That was pretty cool. And then I watched the... Stipe Miocic, fireman stuff, where he's in the, he's just showing like what he does on his shift and stuff like that, when he's on the, when he's on duty. So that's, that was pretty cool as well. Who've I got in that fight? I want Ngannou to win, but I also like Stipe as well. They're both they're both stand up guys, so I ain't I ain't too fast, but I think I do want to see the Ngannou era like I was saying yesterday as well. I play on PlayStation and I play on Xbox. Synthesis Jack, the six nine calf. Yeah, I think we've done that one, isn't it? We've done that one, man. <laughs> Precura says, good job on the 1.3k sub. When I sub, you almost, you had almost 300, bro. I appreciate the support, man. I appreciate the support from everyone. And yeah, it's been it's been a good journey, you know. We'll keep it going, innit? Keep it showing the road. Ryan's got Francis Ngannou. Well, how's it going, Bill Hayes? Let me catch up. What's Finance saying? I think Jake should face the journeyman. Sounds dumb. These journeymen know how to put him through their... Yep, 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 definitely. I mean, a lot of professional boxers, when they come from amateur boxing, they go through the journeyman stages in order to get them ready for, you know, because the journeyman at the end of the day, if he finds something that he's going to beat you at, because he's a journeyman by nature, he's going to just show you, you know, where you where you, where you you could get potentially beat. He's not going to try and take your head off. Like That's where a lot of fighters get experienced when they come from the amateurs to the pro. So it is a good idea. And journeyman, they're... They're good, bro. Like they, they fight every week, man. They're actually like, do you know what I mean? They're just not. It's just not. They're not going to be world class, so then they just go the journeyman route, pretty much. But yeah, well, I watched some documentaries on journeyman. It's quite fascinating. Like the way they, you know, there's a place for them in the sport and that. This guy's hair. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let me let me read your um suggestions, gents. So you got. Let me read. Let me read. Let me read. Ryan's got Francis Ngannou. Stipe says Emerald Crab. And yeah, Precaro Fridays, bro. I'll be on on Friday. If you're here on Friday, we can play. I usually play on Fridays if I play um, UFC. I'm kind of stuck on this calf. I'll be honest. Uh, what was his name? Taylor. We don't really have his hairstyle. Let's try this one. Can you make Chaos Williams? Yeah, I'm going to jump to the next one in a sec anyway. Let me just, um, let me just wrap this one up with some hairstyle. Probably is just going to be this one, isn't it? They don't have that kind of um, wavy hair. They do, and this 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 one they do. Maybe this one could work as well, but it's just a bit. His one is a bit more wavy than this. And uh, final productions has Stipe. Ryan is going to make a prime Robbie Lawler. And Bill Hay says if Ngannou wins, I think Stipe retires. Yeah, he might do. I mean, Stipe's. He's old, but in terms of MMA time, like I don't know, he's all right. He's not taking too much punishment in the octagon. Do you know what I mean? And I'm sure in training as well, he's probably training quite smart. He's a big guy at the end of the day as well. You know, he's not taking any beating. Stipe could be around for another three, four years, man. I know people are writing him off because he's getting, you know, he's getting older and stuff. But maybe this hair actually. I could see Stipe being around for a while. Ngan is obviously gonna be around for a while as well. But yeah, if if it's a yeah, I, I can't see Stipe retiring, I'll be honest. I can't see it happening. I think he's too much of a competitor as well, but let's see what happens. Thomas Shelby, yeah, we're going to jump to next. And uh, what was this guy's name? Taylor Holder. Yeah, just the hair. Maybe for the hair, just put some tattoos around the side or go for one of the other hairstyles from, that we were talking about earlier. Taylor. Can you make a little pump? I think, did we make a little pump before? But I will, I will have a look at some hip-hop artists later as well. We, we tend to jump from genre to genre. We're going to jump to um, movie star. Now, you guys are giving me hard ones again. Thomas Shelby is another difficult one to be to do. I'm going to pull, pull down the cheeks. 
push the cheekbones out, make the eyes big. Eyebrows are probably going to be a tattoo job, to be honest. Um, hairstyle, tricky, doable. I think, yeah, I think the hair is going to be doable. Peaky Blinders. I need to watch this show, man. You, you keep telling me it's, it's a good show, is it? Peaky Blinders. All right, cool. Let me get this um, copied over and I'll catch up on the chat in a sec. But yeah, I, I think Nganu. I want Nganu to win. I want Nganu era to start, but even if he beats him, whoa, sorry about that. Even if he beats him, I don't think Stipe is going anywhere, man. Like, Dana might give Nganu someone else to fight. It depends how close the fight is, if there's interest in a rematch. Or he might just feed feed another heavyweight to Nganu and then Stipe will get the match afterwards or Stipe will have to fight someone else. But Stipe's beating everyone, man. Like, I was watching Dan Hardy's breakdown. Like, he's beating Mark Hunt. He's beating Alistair Overeem. I'm like, I don't, I'm, I don't even remember those fights. I was like, wow, he's, fighting, he's been fighting for ages, man. To be, to be beating Mark Hunt as well. Mark Hunt was around ages ago, wasn't he? He's been retired for like six years now, I think. Okay, let me catch up. And Emerald Crab Jan just starting his hype train and he's 38, yep. These bigger guys, man, they, they get into their groove quite late, didn't they, some of them? And yeah, Jan Blahovic, man, he's a smart fighter, you know. He did lose, he did, he did get, I think he got TKO'd like five, five or six fights ago, but ever since that, ever since that one, he's just been on a tear up. Yeah, let's see what happens, let's see what happens. Can you make Robert De Niro? Possibly, I think I'm gonna jump from here. We're gonna jump to, I don't know, we'll jump to probably MMA. Probably jump to MMA from this one. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Yeah, all right, cool, we're good. Um, for the face. Yeah, probably just try this one, innit? We'll just try this one. Same face template as before. Oh yeah, I forgot to put the points. Yeah, there's points and stuff as well, guys. The point system in place as well. It tracks your points in that. So exclamation mark points if you want to see. Oh, and it says, that's good. Thanks, dude. Okay, that's cool then, bro. Glad you like it. What I'm going to do is I'll do it at the end. I'll show all the formulas. I mean, if you follow along how I was doing it, you might be able to catch it early anyway. But right at the end, I'll go through everything like I usually do. And get all the formulas on here. Can make Mario Judo. Is that a boxer fight? I think we're going to go to fighter next. Go to a fight next. I'm going to read what Jack said. Jack said, I can't wait until Logan Paul fights Floyd. When is that happening? Is that sometime this year as well? I swear that fight's been in the works for ages, man. Forever, it feels like. Okay, Thomas Shelby, right. We, well, first of all, we weren't able to pull his jaw all the way down. Oh, you can see I put Max on the jaw height. Let's get rid of that facial hair. Work on it a bit more. And yeah, Simpsons Jax, how's it going? He says, uh, do Mike Tyson versus 6ix9ine. I think um, Thing made one, didn't he? Was it Creative Player made a Mike Tyson? Not Mike Tyson, did you say Michael Jackson? Yeah, Michael Jackson made a Michael Jackson. But I think it was a female calf, right? I don't know. How's it going, Zombie Angel? YouTube, how's it going, man? Hope you're doing well. How's your YouTube channel going? Zombie Angel, YST in the house. And yeah, Final Production says, nice to see you, nice to see you back fierce, forgot to say, maybe we can do some training in the next few days. Well, I think I think we should carry on with the Fight Night series, it's on Mondays if, if you guys are interested, because we had some good fun on that. I think we should carry on with that. Um, Friday we'll do UFC, we could squeeze in, if, if people want to substitute a Fight Night match, we could do some of them as well in there. Let's just play it by ear and let's see what happens. But yeah, Esports Boxing Club we were talking about yesterday. I was I was reading up on it today a bit more. Apparently it's coming out in the summer, they're saying. The first the first build is gonna come out in the summer. They've just managed to get it work into a playable state where people can actually play like all the modes and stuff. So I think they've sent it out to some of their partners to test it. But it sounds like we're gonna get it in the summer. They got free free animation types, they're saying, free animation sets in the game. So three different punch styles so far. Maybe idle stances, whatnot, movement styles. They've got three different ones. A Fight Night Champion, for reference, has about six or seven, maybe, maybe seven. But then you can mix and match. You can do like, you know, you can do the stance of Philly Shell with the punches of Mike Tyson and different things like that. You can mix and match it. I don't know how this one's going to be. We'll see. And you hung up the gloves for now. You still do offline. Fair enough, bro. I've got, um, 
The offline's okay, you know, I'm fine at champion the AI's really it's, it's fun to play against. This is very exciting for esports boxing club. Yeah, like I said, in the summer I think it's gonna come out for PC. Um, let me catch up on the chat. Be honest, I was scared for Floyd after he showed him punching the bank, but then again it's Floyd versus Logan. Logan lost the case I had does he think it would beat Floyd? But wait, that's the thing. Like you can you can throw big punches on the bag, but you you, you gotta get your feet there first to land it. On someone like Floyd, he's not gonna be able to Floyd's not gonna be there to be hit. That's the thing, and when Floyd is in the pocket, Floyd's going to be there on his terms, and Floyd's going to know what punches are coming. He's going to position himself. That's the thing with someone like Floyd. They position themselves in such a way that your only option is to throw like a hook or something, or like, you know? So I think Floyd's going to be fine, man. He's going to be absolutely fine. But yeah, Jake Paul probably looks like a monster on the bag, right? He's probably like 90, K, 90 kg walking around, lifting all them weights and stuff. It's absolutely jacked, but yeah, that's, boxing's different, bro. You gotta get your feet there first. You know what I mean, your cardio's gotta be up to scratch. Floyd's gonna be binging that body as well, man. Anytime Logan's coming forward, bro, he's gonna get it to the body. I'm telling you, that solar plexus is gonna get worked by Floyd. And then we'll see where we'll see where he's at, man. We'll see where he's at. And hey, this one's turned out okay. Can you make pop smoke? Where's he from? What's uh what genre should I say? We need to rematch ASAP. Okay, Friday or Monday. If it's um, UFC, then Friday, bro. If it's if you want to do it on Final Champion, then we can do it on a Monday. Depending on what game you want to do it on, bro. I don't mind. Chocolate little tattoo thing on him. Join Fierce's stream, do corner work, and that gives the online urge. Very talented. Okay, it's Fierce is a is a Final Champion guy, yeah. Dude, if you're saying he's talented, he must be something special, man, because. Our fight was ridiculous, bro. It was just so hard to hit. Like these guys that have been playing Finite Champion like for a long time, they got like thousands of fights online and stuff, man. There's something else. Especially like dudes who know the uh, like the sport of boxing as well, and they don't spam. It's so fun. Same with UFC, man. When people don't spam and they play like realistic, it's 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 a treat to get beaten by someone who's better than you. Do you know what I mean? As long as it's legit. But yeah, use template 17 for the head. Um, we could try it. We could try it. Hang on, let me just work a bit more with this template. I don't want to. I don't want to ditch this template because I put a bit of work in now. Let me work a bit more with this one. It's the eyes. I think the eyes needs to be a bit bigger. Cheap when we ain't done yet. Pop smoke is a wrapper. Oh, for pop smoke, use template seventeen. Okay. Logan, the bigger you are, the harder you fall. Yep. The more muscle he's got to carry around. Floyd is. Floyd. I mean, Floyd's nimble, bro. That's the thing. He's not gonna have any issues. And I wonder, even if he stands there and lets, lets Logan Paul work, he can position himself in such a way like, th these guys who are really good, like world-class people, man, they, they can just position themselves. My old trainer was like, they was world champion kickboxer. He was very good at boxing. He, he could position himself, he could just stand there and just position himself, lean and lean. You can't hit him. You're like, what's going on? I can't hit this guy. Cause just the way that they know, and Floyd's like that as well. So yeah. We'll see what happens anyway. See what happens. Why is Origin loading up, man? Yeah, he's telling me to play some more games. Flight React, we made him yesterday, bro. Did we make him yesterday? Yeah, we made him yesterday, man. You guys were asking for him yesterday. We made him yesterday. He's, uh, he's, if you go to yesterday's stream, go to the end and you should get the formula for him. He's on there. He's okay. He's not brilliant. It's not my best calf, but he's okay. LeBron James. We could do basketballers, yep, I probably will do a basketball at some point today. So yeah, I'll do LeBron James as the basketball of the day then. Um, let's do the lips. I've oh, done the lips already. Mm. I can't get his eyes any bigger, mate. <laughs> That's the problem. Hang on, let's see if I can get the size even bigger. But it's going to start looking like Neanderthal. Pull the cheeks in a bit. Let's go. How's it going, Daniel? El Despacito. How's it going? And Declan's on a 15 fight win streak on UFC, bro. You must be getting good at the game. That is not easy to do. Nice, man. And I think hopefully there's going to be an update out soon. Let's see what happens. Um, I can't do much about the eyes and the lips. Oh, we've minimized the lips already. It's annoying me. I made a Jack Sparrow earlier on Mordal. I was playing Mordal before I streamed this. Made Captain Jack Sparrow. I was just running around trolling people. It's good fun. Marco Madsen. I don't know, bro. I'll have a look when I'm 
I'll have a look at a list. I'm gonna scroll up. I'm gonna then we'll figure out what we're gonna do, bro. This one has been requested as well for a while, so spend a bit of time just trying to get this one decent. I think we might have to use some shadows, man. I'm not sure. A bit early, but what do you think of what do you make of UFC 5? What improvements do you think or new features? Ah, it's a tough one, man. It's a tough one. It's a tough question you're asking. I don't know what direction EA are planning to take the game, I'll be honest. I don't know how well UFC 4 sold. They, I mean, they, they said that it sold well, didn't they? And we're definitely seeing a lot of cosmetics heavy kind of thing. Um, what direction will they take it? Yeah, I don't know, bro. Honestly, don't know. What I'm hoping is we get more sim elements. We get more offline modes. We get title mode, title defense mode, maybe gym mode. Where you can, you know, just like people, like let's say people on the stream and I can have a gym and they can all just come and just chill out and spar and stuff like that. That would be cool. And then people go have fights and then you can go watch their fights. If they can have online cards, that would be good. Like EA MMA did. Those kind of things I'm hoping for. I'm not, I don't think they will get it. I don't think Pride Mode is going to happen. I really don't. Um, but let's see what happens, man. I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm not really sure. But at the minimum, I know they're going to probably work on career mode. I know we'll probably will get some more on offline modes. We must do, right? We've got nothing at the moment, man. What have we got to play <laughs> in offline? That's new from like UFC 3. But they got some new rounds and stuff. So hopefully they can they can add K1 mode or something. I don't know, stuff like that. I don't want to hate too much either, man. But yeah, you guys know what I'm saying. Get back to the chat. What are you saying? Marco Madsen, Craig Cashy Nasty, Fierce has been playing much recently. You should make Jax Teller from Sons of Anarchy. Yeah, I see that one, Izan. Uh, what else? What else? What did I miss? What game did you create, Jack Sparrow, on a game called Mordhau? It's a fighting game on uh, PC. It's a fighting game. Um, sword fighting, sorry. It doesn't actually look much like him. It's a, it's, it looks a bit like him. They don't have pirate hat. They do have other hats, but they don't have pirate hats, so it's not like much I can do about that. But that's just a, it's a game that I'm really good at, but it's not really a game that anyone knows, so I don't really stream it. And I was just, I don't know, I prefer just playing it than streaming it, but I could stream it if people wanted to watch. But yeah, that's, that's kind of my chill out game. That's the game I go to these days. I just want to just like run around and bat some heads off. The game, so I'm adding these um little dimple things. I don't know if you, you don't have to do this bit, bro, if you don't want. But I think it will it will add a little bit. And that's using the clever font. Try a few, just do a few on the other side as well. How long are you streaming for? Probably um, another hour, bro. About another hour. We'll try and get maybe six caps or something. I'll try and get through more, but I'm spending a bit more time on these today than. Than usual, I usually just rush through the night, but today I feel like a little bit more accuracy, man. Do you know, I'm feeling it. I'm um, probably around, yeah, probably around an hour or so, something like that, bro. Let me see. The war you had, you and him had recently was crazy, so it improved. Got polished fundamentals. It's all about fundamentals, man. And I don't even, where, where have I put this? the basics in it okay i think it's the eyes man i wish i could make the eyes a bit bigger because his eyes are bigger than that but i don't think we can get eyes any bigger than what we got here let's get a um, c shape in there chuck this one there One of these bad boys. This is Emerald Crab territory. Right? I think I don't know if he was the first one to start doing these, but I think he was the first one on YouTube. I saw anyway, using like these these um, shapes as shadows and that. Let's see if I can do it myself here. Yeah. Basically, just trying to pronounce his chin, chin, cheekbone a bit more. All right, one on the other side as well. We're good. Uh, yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Let's try. We'll have a look at some different hairstyles for him as well. Body type. Yeah, maybe this body type. Let me try different hairstyles. 
yeah, thank you, Billy. And make, make Muhammad Ali, he says, yeah, I mean, I've already done him. He's on the channel, actually, he's decent. Drill rappers would be sick. Grime, man, I'm telling you, bro, it's got to be Grime first. But if you've got a drill rapper in mind, shout me. And then when I do some, next next time I do some music one, I might have a look. But I'm a Grime guy, bro, I'm a Grime guy through and through. Okay, that's Thomas Shelby done. I think that's all right. Abe Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln. When you next fight Muay Thai, are you gonna upload it to your channel? Yes, that's the plan. That's kind of why I made this channel, was so that I can put my Muay Thai footage on there. But as you guys know, the, the whole country is just shut down at the moment. We can't do anything. There's Anthony Joshua from the video earlier. But yeah, that's the plan, bro. That is the plan. Billy Hayes, I appreciate that, man. Thank you very much. And have a look around. If you like the channel, then you already subscribed. So that was, I didn't even have to say that. <laughs> Usually I'm gonna have a look around. If you like what you see, subscribe, but you already done it, bro. So yeah, enjoy the show, man. And yeah, thanks for the support. And this guy's name was what? Zachary Di Hang on, what's? No, Thomas Shelby. I think Zachary was the one who asked for him. Yeah, he turned out okay. Like I said, if the eyes were a little bit bigger. Oh yeah, let's do the eyebrows as well, bro. One more thing we can do, the eyebrows. And I'm gonna have to check out this Peaky Blinders now, man. I need a new show to watch. I haven't, I haven't got any TV shows. I was watching that one where they're like on a train or something. And then it's like all, all snowy and cold outside, but then I don't really like season two. Fighting our productions, yeah, talking about the fight we had. Um, what happened? So I went down and got up and stopped in one of those learning fights. Bro, we're gonna have to run it back again then. If it was that close as well. You know what? Sometimes in those in those kind of games, it takes me a while to figure it out. It's the same as sparring, man. It takes me a while to figure people out. I, I, I get started, it's like round three. I'm, I'm only just getting started. The guys are like, it's like sparring's nearly over. I'm like, bro, I'm only just getting started, like. It's one of them ones, and in games like Final Champion, you, you get dusted up in that in that time you're trying to figure out your opponent. So what I'm saying here is Critter Font 9, bro, for the eyebrows. Just a couple here and there, and that's going to give him... Yeah, a little bit. It's going to get his face a bit close to what we're looking for anyway, so I'm going to chuck one here. Delete this one. I was watching um, Donald Cerrone earlier as well, actually. Actually, I'm not going to talk about what he was saying because I'm, I'm probably going to get in trouble. But yeah, it was all right. It was a good interview with Donald Cerrone. He was talking about how technology is making people softer and stuff like that. It's a good it's a good watch. It's a good watch. And I was thinking of like, my granddad and all his generation, man, they were all like rugged, tough guys, man. They all grew up in like cold weather and all builders and like, I don't know, they used to build like the material, like houses with his hands and stuff. Like they didn't really have tools and yeah, man, it's different different i have to agree i was thinking that about like muay thai as well like people in thailand man they do that like from from such a young age their bones must be made of something else like like i catch a shin or a knee when i kick or an elbow my, I'm, I'm hurting bruv and i've got i got shin guards on so i'm like man what are these guys like because they're just stoic stone cold it's just different isn't it different different breed bruv but yeah see what happens with that you can do karate kid Karate Kid has been done, yes, he's on the channel. He's on the channel, yeah. Karate Kid's been done before, actually. Uh, let me catch up. Your beard's shorter, yeah, my beard has shortened, bro. It was some nice weather in the UK, so I'll just uh, give a little trim. I'm struggling here with the eyebrow, but it's something like this, right? I'm kind of stuck on this one. Cash nasty. Now, next I'm going to do... I totally forgot now. I totally forgot. I think I'm going to do LeBron James. On a blank. <laughs> this eyebrow, bro. This eyebrow's trolling me. Hang on. Yeah, something like this. Basically, anyway, you, you could probably do it better than me, bro. You just need to just make his eyebrows thicker using this um, Critter font. I don't use Critter font that often, but I have been doing it recently. It's quite it's, it's easier to use than Mythos font at times. So, yeah, that's time I shall be done, man. I'm happy with that one. Fine, I says he loves the gym spas. Wolfie says, Can you make the guy from Prison Break, Michael Schofield? It's not a bad shot. I enjoyed that show. Fear says that fight reminded me of Garcia versus Campbell. Nice. SJ or Banda K from Drill would be good. Chaos Williams would be good. Cash Nasty would be good. Michael Chaos Williams. Yeah, I'm going to do LeBron James anyway. I want to do basketball. Let me just double check that I haven't done him already. Now I've already done LeBron James. 
I've already done LeBron James. I'm not going to do him because I've, I can see that I've searched for his face before. So I've already done LeBron James. So if you guys got any martial arts or sports personality, shout me. And yeah, Izan, take it easy, bro. Take it easy. Don't don't spam too much. LeBron James said Meme Smith. Yeah, it's already been done. Flight Reacts has already been done. Marco Madsen. Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi, I've got him on a separate channel. Um, you know what? I don't know what what face template he was. Chaos Williams. Let me have a look at Chaos Williams as well. Because I've already got Messi on a different um, a different account, so I'm thinking I can just finish that one. Chaos Williams is an American mixed martial arts, competes in world to There we go, bro. We're going to Chaos Williams. And Povetkin will be a good one to do as well. I think I've done uh, Povetkin before. Povetkin's already on the channel, I believe. Kobe. Kobe Bryant. Yes, okay. Basketball are nice. Good suggestion. And then we could try. All right, let me... Let me ah, it's Michael Jackson. <laughs> Michael Jackson, bro. We're going to make Michael Jackson, man. That's a hard one. Okay, cool. Get rid of this guy. And we'll have a look at what's this guy's name? MMA guy. I'm just gonna save his MMA guy. Austin Powers. MJB's talking, man. He's talking. That's kind of a suggestion I like, but yeah, he's um Austin Powers. I think the hair is gonna be the problem. Simpsons Jack has it going. Kobe as well. Alright, we've got some requests for Kobe. Kobe Bryant. Let's do this guy that we're doing at the moment. Who is, what's his name again? Chaos Williams. He's a UFC fighter, so I'm going to give him the UFC gear. Alright, uh, cool. Let me catch up on this one. Eddie Hearn, Alexander Povetkin, and Jack Hill. Let me just uh, catch up, bro. I haven't got a timestamp on it, so. I haven't got a timestamp on it. Let me just, um, just commentate your own fight. Tell us what you're doing, what you did wrong, could help you, you see where you go wrong. Yeah, I'll be up for that, dude. I'll let you guys know what I'm thinking, what's going through my head, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'll be up for that. Even if I can get some sparring footage recorded, if people are people are training are alright to record some sparring footage, that'd be cool. And commentate sparring. That'd be alright as well. Make Austin Powers use hair number 43. Ian Gary. And uh, Zachary says he just prefers drill more than Graham. Fair enough, man. Yeah, fair enough. My friend's like that as well. He used to be a Graham head, and then um, I think he still likes gigs. He likes gigs, and then he's, he likes a lot of um, drill music, like you're saying as well. Jake Paul is already on the channel, bro. Jake Paul is on the channel. There's two versions on the channel, and Alan Jar is. Um, friend of mine he's made a he's made an even better version that's on the channel as well yeah just just go back in time a little bit you can check those out bro they're all on there they look good Nahid is singing bro what's he saying da 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 yes man I don't know what that means but cool if you could have any free UFC fighters added into UFC 4 Mirko Krokop would be number one I'll take Bas Rutan from uh, UFC number the one before that and I'll take Kung Lee man I'll take Kung Lee as well from UFC 2 was he in UFC 2 yeah take Kong Lee as well, I'll take those three bro. Which ones do you think? Those will be those will be good additions I think so. Let's see what face template we're gonna use here. This bit's always a nuisance and oh, actually something about this face template. Just eyebrow switch up innit? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Colonel Sanders, we made Colonel Sanders before. Rabbit Cam, Rabbit, I don't let her in here anymore, man. She's she's too naughty. She keeps going for the cables. So I haven't been letting her in here. Maybe this one actually is better. Okay, let's do um let's get the eyes. Islam Makashev, yeah, I've made him before, bro. I've made him before. He's actually in one of the um older videos. Is Islam Makashev. But I didn't I don't think I put it in the description. So I need to do that. I need to go through my videos and put it through the descriptions. Who's in what video? Colonel Sanders, ultra motivated McGregor. What what kind of hair has that one got? Is that which one is ultra motivated, man? Is that the most recent one? 
I don't know, someone was saying the Beard McGregor was a dangerous one actually, the one that was against Cowboy Cerrone, if you think about it, how quickly he got his opponent out of there. Ultra motivated McGregor, this could be something else though, yeah? Could be. Barack Obama in UFC 4. Wasn't he like one of the popular ones in the Fight Night Champion as well? I think I chose the wrong face template here, man. Dang it. Oh, well, we'll roll with it, we'll roll with it for a bit longer, see what happens. Islam Makachev would be one, not sure about the other two. Oh, oh, okay, not from UFC 3, you mean any three UFC fighters, right, I get you, I get you. What are you saying? So, Islam Makachev, I'm not sure about the other two. So, we have his stats, the calf stats are okay, you can't customise them, which is annoying, yep. That's the thing, like, the calf stats, they're all right. In terms of offline play, you can use the um, sliders in custom fight now. That's about it. You can't really choose what moves they have and stuff, which is a bummer. So it's not as good as UFC freeze in that, in that regard, man. It's just not, to be honest. But yeah, probably, you know, there's going to be one more. I'm, I'm definitely going to see one more update. I think there will be one more update. I don't know after that. So we'll definitely see. How many do they add in each update? Is it two fighters? They had two fires, they had one fire, it'd be something like that. So yeah, it could be Makachev. Let's see what happens. Hopefully it's not some random guy. <laughs> it's not relevant anymore, but Cheeto Vera is a good one. Yeah, he's on the channel as well, I believe. Cheeto Vera, yep. Yeah. Tom Holland from Spider-Man. He's already on YouTube, bro. Create a player, check out Create a Player. Type in Create a Player Spider-Man on YouTube. And he's made Tom Holland as um, Spider-Man. I know if, if you want Tom Holland not as Spider-Man, you can just still take the formula and use it. Just obviously don't make him into Spider-Man. But yeah, he's on he's on YouTube, bro. Have I messed up the ears? It is again a bit too much attention. Let's, let's just uh, dial that back a little bit. Rob Font, yeah, you know what? We should do Rob Font today because you guys have been asking for him for a while. I swear we've done him already, but let's have a look. Let's have a look. And yeah, I've chose the wrong face template here. Yeah, it's all right, we salvaged it as best we could. Ryan Garcia, yep, he's already been done. Ryan Garcia's on the channel as well. I think he's a dedicated video even. Ryan Garcia, The Rock, this has already been done. If you check up Dwayne, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, yes, he's on this channel. And if you want The Rock, as in the 90s, the early 2000s, mid 2000s version of The Rock from WWE, F WWE, then he's also on YouTube on a creative player. He took, he took my formula run with it and made him into The Rock. So yeah, there's those options there. Ah, uh, this one would be this one would be perfect if the eyes were a bit bigger. Again, run into the same problem. Brian Ortega, we made Brian Ortega. I believe, yeah, we made, we made, we made him. I swear we made him. I feel like we made him. I have to check that one. Ryan Garcia, The Rock. Keith Furman doesn't get the respect he deserves. Trash talk before the Pac-Man fight didn't help. Yeah, he lost that fight, didn't he? I think so. What's Keith Furman doing? Is he, is he got a fight? He was, wasn't he gonna fight? Did he fight Errol Spence Jr? Or was he gonna fight Errol Spence? I remember it was something like that. I think he did. I think them two did fight, didn't they? Do Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yep, he's on the channel. David Otunga. I'm not sure about that one. Brian Ortega we have made, says Jack Hill. Yes, I thought we had, dude. And he did turn out quite well. I believe he's one of the good ones. Big man like Aiden, what's going on, Rico? How's it going, buddy? Chaos looks sad. Is that the guy we're doing now? All right, let's let's pull the eyebrows up a bit, man. Let's. Yeah, see if I pull the eyebrows up, he's he didn't look confused. He's like, what's going on? Why is everyone looking at me? No, let's let's I'll fix it up like this. Yeah, the eyebrows. The eye eyebrow region is the only bad thing about this one. It's the eye eyebrow region, unfortunately. Maybe like this, and then we'll use, we'll use some of the tattoos. He hasn't fought since the Pac Man fight. Oh, okay. He has constant pressure, makes it dirty, tough as a ball. I saw him hitting the pants and the bags and stuff as well, and the guy can the, the guy hits hard. The guy hits very hard. It's mad that Pac-Man's still hanging in there with all these like young young dogs, isn't it? It just shows how good Manny Pacquiao is, like. Cause some people, you know, they have 
they have that raw talent like in terms of physical attributes like Pac-Man had speed back in the day but now he's intelligent as well do you know what I mean and he's still fast he's still fast that's the scary thing like We'll never know about that Mayweather one, eh? Whether Prime Pac-Man would have taken Mayweather? He could have, you know? He could have. Okay, something like this. Uh, let's do the body. Mr. Beast. Who's Mr. Beast? Rings a bell. Does ring a bell. I'm not sure who he is, though. Make Aiden Zero. One day, man. I need to figure out what I want to look like first. Am I going to have a beard? No beard? Long hair? Short hair? Maybe afro? I'm just going to give this guy a few tattoos here, just to see what he looks like with the tattoos. And um, we'll see what he's got, stars. It's one of them, when I don't get the face right, then I'm just like, I need to do other things to get it looking good, so I'm going to chuck the tattoos on. Maybe we'll chuck on some more face tattoos as well. Looks like we could do some more touch-ups on the facial hair. The lips I could work on a bit more as well. We'll do a couple of things. We'll do a couple of things, get him there. Sometimes even if you just get the other stuff right, then it kind of, it tricks your brain. You're like, actually, yeah, it looks, it is there. Like, it's in his little trick. He looks okay. What are you guys saying? Michelle Rodriguez. And uh, that kid is decent. You need to put how many points here? Yeah, you need to leave a space as well. And Fierce, no worries, dude. No worries. I'll catch you soon, man, if you want to run it back. Anytime, let me know. Probably Monday or um, Friday. Probably Monday though. Friday, I'll be doing UFC. But yeah, take care, dude. Peace out. In the meantime, let's try and find. I can't remember if there's a crown in this game. See, this is where Jack Hill should take over, man. He's mad with the tattoos, you know. The guy's brilliant with the tattoos. It's just to keep it basic, man. Got something on his left arm, so I'm a chuck samurai. Looks about right. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, let's do a woman fighter. Yeah, I'm up for that. Michelle Rodriguez, yeah. And that kid is decent. Says Brian Ortega versus Max Holloway for the interim fight. <laughs> Leave the tattoos to check. Nah, it's not official, is it? It's not official, man. I'm checking now. Rod Tang. Rod Tang. We made Rod Tang. He's on the channel, bro. Rod Tang. I was watching his fight the other day as well. I, was, I watched it. Um, it was the one FC one, wasn't it? In the cage and that. Mate, he doesn't back off at all, does he? He does not back off. And when he gets, he gets kicked in the head in the last fight I was watching, he got kicked in the head and he just rolls with it. Like, he's got no problems, bro. I don't know how he does it, man. The way that he rides shots and just comes forward and puts mad pressure. He's like, he's the Mike Tyson of, of Muay Thai at the moment. Mr. Rod Tang. But yeah, I've tried to make him before on the channel. He's on the channel. Just have a look at that formula. Let me know your thoughts. If you want me to have another go, I'll we'll probably give it another go. It's kind of hard because the face templates for like people from that region, it's not, they're not, we ain't got that many face templates. That kind of work, but we can have a go. Or if there's other one FC fighters, that guy I was watching, who was I watching the other day? The lightweight, lightweight champion in one FC for the striking. Very tall guy, throws a lot of knees. Yeah, he'd be interesting to do. He'd be interesting to do. Well, tank Andy Ruiz is returning to the ring. Yeah, I heard that. I saw Andy Ruiz. He's getting in shape as well, isn't he? Andy Ruiz Jr. Let's see, man. It's about time. It's about time. I wonder if he'll ever fight Deontay Wilder. That would be a good matchup. Yes, there we go. We fixed it. We literally just fixed this calf. Yep, we fixed it. We fixed it. We're good. We are good with this one. Pull the eyes down a bit. And bro, don't don't spam. Don't don't put too many comments because it's making it hard for me to read everything. Tension, Nasa, Nasa. Tension, yes, I know the guy. Fights over in, uh, I think, fights over in Japan, does he? Kickboxer kind of protege kind of kid like I started professional at age 18 or something he was knocking everyone out the Mayweather fight was unfortunate just massive size difference obviously it was a different sport as well but yeah he's on YouTube bro all you need to do is search for creator player and type in tension and um, yeah he's got it covered man he's done a wicked one 
It's done a wicked one. Eddie Alvarez. He's in the game already. He's already in the game, bro. And he's got decent stats as well. And he's fighting in uh, Eddie Alvarez. Is he in 1FC now? Along with Mighty Mouse, a few others. Um, I don't know. We're going to see who we're going to do next. Dude, that's right. Is that you? Two people from the channel. I was thinking LeBron next. But we've done LeBron. Who was the other one you guys said? The basketball. Kobe. Kobe Bryant is going to be next. Jump to basketball. And then I'll have a look after that. What genre we're going to jump to. This is MMA. So we've done MMA genre now. So we're good for MMA. We haven't done any WWE genre today. We've done YouTube because I'm going to count TikTok as YouTube as well. So we've done a YouTube. So yeah, let's see. Oh yeah, and then yeah, a female fighter as well would be good because I've not done any female fighters in a long time. And I'll take on the challenge, but I'll take on the challenge. The female face templates in this are a bit, they're not very good. But we can make something happen. Okay, cool. I think this guy's done. I'm pretty happy with it actually. His eyebrows, again, with the tattoos on the eyebrows, you could work on it a bit more, make it a bit more slanted. But overall, yeah, I'm gonna save that one. Let's jump back in. What's his name? Uh, Chaos Williams. Okay, Chaos Williams. Happy with that one. Jaguar Kings is in the house. How's it going? So you need to get your beard back, man. Yeah, man. That beard is gone. I was getting some summertime vibes the other day. Some nice sunshine in that. Whenever I do, man, the beard goes. It'll be back in the winter. I say that, watch. In one week, it'll be like... <laughs> but how's it going, man? You alright? I found my copy of um, Undisputed. So we'll be playing that at some point. But I think this if there's if there's an up I think this Friday we'll run we'll run our usual um player matches on UFC 4 because we missed the one last week. A lot of people wanted to play last week. We'll run that. And then um maybe next week we'll do UFC, the other one. This guy's right now, Chaos Williams. Ah, oh, one more thing actually, hang on, one more thing, one more thing, one more tweet to him. And then I'm gonna catch up. Now that a UFC fighter not in the game. How long are you streaming for? A little bit. Okay, yeah, no worries, bro. <laughs> He's um, bro. What, what's that, man? He's writing some bullshit. Um, yeah, probably. I'd say another hour. Another hour, Jack. We'll stop at nine. I can do another hour. You know what, bro? I'm, I'm gonna let that comment go through, just, just so others can see you writing that. Oh, I can't. I can't even let it through. Oh, you retracted it. That's why. I was gonna let people see that. Right, if you want, I'll let people see it, man. When do you think Esports Fighting Club is coming out? So it's coming out in the summer at the earliest because the developers have said in a recent website blog post, something like that, at the end of it, they said the game is currently ready to play and they're sending it out to testers, like third party testers and stuff, and that expect to see it in early access in the summer, which, let's be honest, will probably be late summer, like August, maybe September. So I'm thinking around. September time, August, September, because we know that they're going to put a little bit of delays in there, but something like that, I think. And I thought it was going to be sooner, but yeah, reading what they said in the blog post and what they did is they put it right at the end, like they, they snuck it in. They didn't mention it as like a big formal thing. They made it sound like it was normal. Like I was kind of like, oh, what? We were expecting it to come sooner than that, but yeah. No worries, is Aaron. Aaron's like, what did he say? No, I don't even remember now. He's retracted it. I've forgotten already. Paul, how's it going, dude? Oh, no worries, man. Yeah, all good, mate. All good. Not too bad. I'm back on it, making some calf. So what have we done this week? Joe Lewis. Yeah, so these are the ones we actually done. Yeah, we've done all right this week. Amir Khan, Roman Gonzalez, Tommy Hearns, Eric Butter, Bean Joseph Walcott, Flight Reacts. Whoever was asking for that, he's there. Ricky Hatton, Evander Holyfield, Anthony Joshua. I started off stream. He's not finished yet, but... Work on it. Taylor Holder, we've done today. Thomas Shelby and a Chaos Williams MMA fighter. Now we're going to do Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. Your beard is going so fast. I know. Trust, it'll be old news by next week. I'll be back to the same like I was. It's ridiculous, right? Is Esports Boxing Club coming on PS? Yes, it will be later on. Yes, it will be. And um, Xbox as well. But initially, it's going to be PlayStation, uh, PC. I would say that they'll probably wait a year at least 
before it comes out on the consoles, I reckon, because they want to polish it more. But we'll see, man. Depends. Depends how much you know, how long it's going to be in early access. But you know, games do release in early access on on consoles. Well, I think Seven Days to Die did. A couple of other games might have as well. Let me just uh, sort this picture out. And yeah, we'll stream till we'll stream till nine today. So we'll probably we can get another five calves unless I get fast. Unless I get faster, we'll probably get through about five. I think. Let's see how it goes. I'm looking for a picture of Kobe Bryant now. Hope they do open weight in esports bots and club. Yeah. Yeah, that would be decent. That'd be a good laugh. I think uh, what what one of the old finites had the uh, open weight. You could do um, Manny Pacquiao against Muhammad Ali or something. Okay, I got Kobe Bryant here. Chuck him down here. Has an impressive roster in addition so far, but it look, the gameplay itself looks like an indie double-A game, says Jaguar. And yeah, well, I mean, what I'm hoping is the developers stick with it. Whatever it releases like, they just stick with it. They take feedback constructively. They work on it, they improve it. That's, that's what I'm hoping. I hope they don't just think that once it's released, it's released and they're just going to bounce. Because even if it takes three, four years for them to get to where it needs to get to, where it's going to be on that level that everyone's like, okay, actually, yeah, this is the best boxing game ever. Then that's cool, you know, it's, as long as we've got something going on, because no one else is doing it. <laughs> that's the thing. Unless you guys are saying we should, we, should, we should all just start up a company here and just start making a game. But no one knows anything about making it. I was thinking, I was literally thinking that earlier. I was like, bro, should I just, <laughs> just get the funding, bro? Just, just hire some people who know what they're doing and just get them. But then it's not, it's not that easy. But yeah, they got no competition anyway. That's the problem, man. When developers don't have competition, they can coast. As we see in some other in some other games. I don't want to mention any names, but you know. I'm just hoping the developers will be um, transparent and just take the advice of the gamers and post-launch support, all that stuff. See what happens. Did you do the Brian Ortega? We've done Brian Ortega before, yes. You're just gonna have to search on the channel. I'm not sure what video he's on. But he's on there somewhere, bro. This might be the worst face template I've ever selected. Legit. Uh, it's not too far off. It's not too far off. It's just the nose looks very sharp. Uh, so what are you saying? Indie AAA game. And Pharaoh says those two four. Female. Yeah, let's jump to female calf after this. Then we'll jump to female calf after this, and let's do fighters. That aren't in the game rather than any celebrities or anything like that um and we'll have a look at the ones you said sergey machola the i think we did make him i think so bro i'm not sure after i'll have to look back in the videos and um, let me catch up what jaguar was saying as well wanted to make Shaq and eddie hall for final champion but they're far above the max high so he scrapped yeah, those guys are ridiculous. Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal is actually in UFC 2010. I think he's actually seven foot or something in real life, isn't he? Uh, Nazra, I don't know. I don't know where we're going to go next, bro. I don't know. I mean, like I said, female calf next. And then after that, we'll see. I'll stream till nine so we can get another hour of calves in. And just see who's here. See what people are saying. Who are we making? We're making Kobe Bryant. I've definitely got the right picture. Right? I haven't got the wrong, the wrong guy here, bro. I might have got the wrong face template, though, because the eyes are a bit too far in his head. See what happens. And yeah, female calf. I'll have a look, bro. Let me I'll, shout me, shout me when I start. It will probably be in about ten minutes. Jackson, thing is, that was ten years ago. I have a long esports is now. There's new technology to take advantage of esports bots and will be amazing. Well, I mean, they're saying that they're going for sim elements, right? So let's say the animations, just for argument's sake, aren't the best in the world. I mean, Final Champion had many years to develop animations. I don't know. All right, cool. What if the sim elements, like, you know, taking a liver shot or you, you open a cut up on the right side and then you can target that cut or you get swelling in the eye so you need to defend that kind of thing. I don't know, man. It could it could add something to it that we haven't really had before. Unless I'm, I'm mistaken and did the older Fight Nights have something like that in place where you can target cuts or something? Because they're going for sim. I, I mean, I, I can overlook the visuals to an extent if the gameplay is good. Let's just see anyway. I don't want to give them any, like, excuses or anything and we will be breaking it down i think the um gameplay trailer is coming out this week or next week and yeah let's level break it down guys we'll see what's we'll see what's what and jack in a bit bro yeah like i said i'll be here till nine in a bit dude 
Uh, Nazra. Aaron says the dev transparency is a must since they are taking suggestions. Yep. And they do respond to emails, they do respond to messages on Instagram, private messages, stuff like that. Also, the devs got to be careful themselves not to take too much. And they've got to keep to their own vision, but you know, it sounds like they're doing that anyway. Right now, it's just like, like people have been saying, it's just the animations. Just the animations of that are a bit suspect. The devs have said actually the animations were out of context. So they said in their message, the animations out of context, actually they are better than what we saw. And that they'll be revealing everything soon. So in the gameplay trailer breakdown as well, they're going to talk about the features of the gameplay as well. What makes it unique, the new... Um, I don't know, damage stamina system. They said they're going to talk about all of this in the gameplay trailer, which is going to be dropping either this week or next week. So there'll be stuff to get excited about there. And the thing is, uh, animations is not, they can work on that. That's not, you know what I mean? They could do an update and just spend a couple of months just getting some couple animators in to work on it in the back end. They just hope the rest, it's just the attitude of the developers, man. That's, that's, that's the key. That's the key. Like, look at Jeff Harrower for UFC 2. And then what he did to UFC, like, you know, from UFC 1 to UFC 2 to UFC 3, all the changes that he made based off player feedback in the forums. Do you know what I mean? That's the kind of guy that, if developer, if we get a developer like that working at esports, we're laughing. But yeah, what's going on, Jack O'Connor? Welcome to the stream, man. Long time no speak. How you been, bro? I saw your comment on one of my videos earlier. Thank you for that as well. I didn't get a chance to reply. Hope you're doing well. Nazrat, I, I don't see why not, bro. It doesn't matter how many wins people have. It's just, um, just kind of just go with the flow. It just depends on what, where we're going, who's saying what suggestion. There's no real. I just kind of random, man. But this, uh, it's Kobe Bryant. I don't know if he's going anywhere. Why colors he have? Something like this. Might choose the wrong skin tone, but let's keep at it. Kind of looks like an elf at the moment yeah yeah exactly jeff is now i think he's working on the, the new god of war has he gone off to the new god of war man that guy's absolute legend he's the one who got me onto the um, game changer team before he left he got me on and that's just because he just knew me from the fo like he knows people like we know people's names from the forum like most you ain't gonna get developers like that in general there are a couple other guys on the ea team as well like skynet He's got a similar kind of thing as Jeff, like where he'll take feedback and he'll listen, he'll chat, he'll discuss things. But yeah, man, that guy, he's an absolute legend, man, absolute legend. So hopefully in Esports Boxing Club, we're going to get similar developers who are willing to, once they see that money come in, they, they don't just like sack us all off and they actually stick to their guns. Do you know what I mean? Let's see what happens. But yeah, let me catch up on the chat. We're going to say Austin Powers next is a possibility. I might have to have a look at some pictures of him now because he's. How are we going to do his hair? Give me a hair suggestion for Austin Powers if we're going to do Austin Powers. Because I think Abraham Lincoln, if we're going to go do someone goofy, Abraham Lincoln might be an easier one to do. Because I think we actually have his beard style in the game. Hmm. I'm, I'm not sure about this eyebrows actually. Something like this. LeBron James, we have already done him, bro. We've done him in the older video. So I'm doing uh, Kobe now. We've done Michael Jordan as well. What I'll do, actually, over the next couple of days, maybe on the weekend, I'll look through my videos and I'll make sure to tag everything properly. Because at the moment, the last five or six, I've not done it. It just takes takes like a bit of time to do. But I'll go through and I'll tag them all. And then you guys, it'll make it easy for you to look through them. And yeah, see which ones we're going to bring to the channel as finished ones as well, because that would be good, man. I need to record more content. Yesterday, I managed to squeeze in the AJ one. Tomorrow, I got a one of my horror horror game gameplay things coming, and that's from uh, recorded earlier in the week. And I need to get some fresh content recorded, man. Slavin's got a cafe he wants me to put up as well for you guys. I'll try and get that one across, and then we'll see, man. We'll see what's what. Austin Powers use hair number 43. I think next we're gonna do a female calf. A rhino, yes. I'm gonna go over all the all the calf formulas at the end. So no worries about that. Because that'll make it easier for you guys. Anyone who's watching tomorrow. 
So yeah, we'll go through all that tomorrow. Uh, so at the end, yes, no worries. And that's how I'll do it in the videos from now on. It's always going to be at the end. Usually the last 15 minutes or something will just be all the cat formulas from the, from the video itself. Have you done Zion Williamson? Nah, dude. Let me know a bit more about this person you're asking for. I don't know, the name doesn't ring a bell. If you would have tried out Sophia's Curse. What's that? Is that another game, yeah? Bro, I think I'm alright playing horror games, man. I don't know. I just, I've got one more video. I've actually... Yeah, I've got, I've got some mates on the weekend that want to play some of that game. The uh, one I was playing the other day, the jump skill. So I might, I might play that and record that. But in general, I don't know, man. I'm not quite out for horror games, like... That's why the it's just I can get a little reaction video together and that's it, bro. I'm done. I'm just like, oh my gosh, that's enough, man. I don't need this stress in my life. But we'll try and probably, probably I'll get Resident Evil. I don't know. It's good fun, though. Man, I don't know if I'm creating Kobe Bryant or if I'm making an elf from Lord of the Rings. I haven't done a nose yet. Okay. There's something just very wrong about this cafe at the moment. I can't pinpoint what it is. Oh, there's another basketballer, okay. Sophia's Curse is a 4 99 game on Steam. Paul, why you gotta do this to me, man? I'm gonna have to go check that one out, you know? I'm gonna have to check that one out. Oh yeah, that's why he doesn't look like him, because we've got loads of sliders that we've done. All right, let's work through it section to section. Stylebender is on YouTube, I believe so. There was a Stylebender on YouTube a while ago. There's, he's actually on our Discord group as well. Someone's put the formula up for him. Um, there was a YouTube channel that was up. I can't, I can't remember whose name it was. I don't know the name, but he had some um, formulas, and one of them was Stylebender, and he did a really good one. What I'll do for you, bro, I'll uh, drop the invite to our Discord group, and it should be on there in the showcase section. There should be a formula lying about if you want to have a look. Speaking of Stylebender, there is one from Emerald Crab 332 that went up on YouTube recently as well. That was two weeks ago, I believe. So yeah, you can check that one out as well, actually. He's, he's very good. If you need a Stylebender calf, easy Adesanya. And I think they've nerfed him a bit at light heavyweight, right? They've, they've nerfed his uh, ground game and like grappling defense. KSI are done twice. If you check the channel, bro, is um. He'll be in the, I've got a playlist on the channel, like if you go on the home page and then scroll down. Things like MMA, it's like other calves or something like that. Or just look at the calf formulas playlist and then he'll be on there. KSI, there's two versions, just pick which one you like. Some people like version one, most people like version two. Taylor Holder is 58 kg. Okay. That made him too dark, man. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we'll jump to female calf after this. I've got the skin tone wrong there somehow. I don't know. I've done that. Yeah, there we go. It's weird. I've eaten, but I'm getting hungry again. Well, how does that work? <laughs> Just all this talking, innit? I've sipped my drink. Mm, I don't know what else to do. His eyebrows are a bit too dark. But yeah, I think Alan John's got a couple of caps on the way as well, man. I saw um, Benson Henderson, if you guys want to see. We've got a showcase section, like I said, on the Discord, if you guys want to check out what people are working on, other creators and that. He's got a very good Benson Henderson in the works. Hopefully, we'll see that soon. And yeah, people, bro, people, I don't know if you're there, Alan John, but yeah, Aaron, people have been asking about um, your YouTube channel when you're going to start and stuff. Let me know if you do, and I will drop a shout out on the channel so people over here can all subscribe as well. People that know you and that. Yeah, what's this guy's name? Kobe Bryant. Oh, I've already done that bit. I've already done the docs. I've just did it twice then. I've got to admit, this is a difficult one. Let's try a different hairstyle. It's too dark, the hair. His hair is a bit more... It's a bit lighter, isn't it? Not too patchy, though. It's like... It's like this, but... A little bit better. This looks, like, a bit shoddy. Looks like he's... Had a hair transplant or something. That's the trouble. I don't know if anyone actually uses these two hairstyles, but yeah, if you do, then good for you. But I'm just having a look. Maybe this one. Um, my gosh, there's no hairstyle for this guy. 
So that one looks nice, but I don't think he ever has his hair like that. Let's just let's keep working on the face a bit more then. He made a Tyson Fury says Rhino, dude. I need to check that out. Derek Rose says Ricky. Owen says Taylor Holder. KSI is already on the channel. Yes. Tyson Fury, I need to check that, bro. Someone was asking for Tyson Fury actually. I can't remember who it was, but they were asking for Tyson Fury on the AJ video. I think they said uh, they want a beard version or something. Tyson with a beard, something like that. Could have a look at it. But yeah, if you if you've done it, man, I'll have a look. See how it looks. What was it? Hundred percent calves. Calf formula, hundred percent calf formula, something like that, wasn't it? Gosh, this one is very hard. I need to pull the eyebrows further apart. Actually, hang on. Yeah, so another channel, guys, for you to check out. Hundred calf formulas is up on YouTube, a new channel, and he's making some nice, nice start, man. He's started strong. He's got a couple of couple of them up already. Pretty much a video every day, nearly. So yeah, more calf, calf guys on the scene. Like I said earlier, Precaro is another one you guys can check out if you want some Polish calves. Emerald Crab's got some great ones. Creator Player, of course. The King himself is coming up with some great ones on his channel. He's got um, tutorials going on at the moment. penby has got some good ones coming. So yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot to, there's a lot. And I'm just going to be sitting and making them live. So, you know, if you guys don't get to see certain calves, then we'll just try and make them here. Might give him Body 13, actually. Not far off. Austin Powers. WWE version of Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury. Abraham Lincoln. Has been requested quite a few times. Yep. Rob Van Dam. Tommy Fury. MJF. I don't know who that is. Paul's playing Diaz versus Masvidal on AI. And Anik says, good head kick by Gaethje. Nice. Good job, John Anik. On the commentary right there. <laughs> Maybe he's watching a different fight or something. I think that's Snoop Dogg in the commentary team last year. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes the AI glitches out like that. I think overall the commentary was my favorite commentary was Bass Rutan in UFC Undisputed 3 in Pride mode. That was the best ever game commentary for fight games I think I've ever heard was Bass Rutan. Just because the guy himself is so funny and the way that he was delivering it was very natural. I think Joe Rogan's deliveries have never kind of been quite that natural in these games. Which, I mean, he said he doesn't like doing the voiceovers, so fair enough. Bass Rutan, okay. El, El Guapo. DC's okay. DC's, he's, he's okay. In the game and that. It is different without Joe there, though, isn't it? I have to admit. Um, right, I don't know what else to do. His eyes need to get bigger, so let's undo this change that I made here. But take it the other way. Man, what is it that's wrong with his face? I can't figure it out. Do you know what? Let's, let's get that skin tone darker again. What body's good for Tyson Fury? That's a good question. I'd say maybe the muscly one, man. You know that really big muscly one? I know he's not that muscly, but his arms are that long. And like the slinky body types, like, like this one is gonna look too skinny. That's the problem. It's gonna look too skinny with body seven. That would be an option, otherwise. Body four could work for Tyson Fury, actually. Body four. Body four, or maybe even body fifteen, actually. Try one of those two. Initially, I thought body sixteen, but he's a bit too hench. So maybe body fifteen or body four, bro, for Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury. What video did you do LeBron on? It's, it's one of the streams. It'll be on one of the streams, bro. Maybe about three weeks ago, two, three weeks ago. It wasn't too recent, but it wasn't one of the old ones either. He was like the latest basketballer I did before this one was um, LeBron James. Before Shaquille O'Neal, actually. Before Shaquille O'Neal. It wasn't. It's going to be a video that's before Shaquille O'Neal one. And shout me if you can't find it, and I'll have a look after the stream and see what I can find. Alright, let's keep working on this, man. It's just, this is such a hard face to do, man. I mean, you know what? I'm gonna have to shout out some other, <laughs> other face template creators, man. What are you guys are saying on this one? Why is it so hard? I don't know if any of you guys have got any ideas on what to do here. It's the skin tone, it's the texture of his face, the texture of his hair. 
the texture of his eyebrows, the shape of his eyelids, the shape of his eyes. There's just so much that's not working here for this guy. We'll stick to it a little bit longer though. I'll put this much effort in. I'm gonna quit just yet. Which way around is it? It's the other way around there. Carlos Condit during the stream. Carlos Condit, yeah, you asked, for, you asked for him on the channel, didn't you? I saw that one, that was a good suggestion. Possibly, bro, let me see. Um, let me see, I'm gonna jump to Female Calf next, and I might do Abe Lincoln or Austin Powers, and then we'll jump to another one after that. And you know what, I think I'm gonna have to carry this one on. Maybe off stream or with a different face template. That side profile, jeez. He's okay, he's okay, he's not, not the best, not the worst, he's just okay. Got a couple more ideas actually. Um, anything else, anything else to hear? I think I might leave him here for now. Let me just save him for now. I don't want to get stuck on one, I can come back to him. Liam, no worries, bro. Yeah, let me see. I'm gonna so someone Vladimir Putin, Abe Lincoln. Who was the female cafe? Someone wanted earlier, please. Are you still there? Taylor Holder, is it? Derek Rose. That's not a girl's name, is it? Derek Rose. So far, yeah, we done. We done Taylor Holder. Oh, he's 58 kg. He's small. Okay, cool. Fair enough. I need to fix that. Thomas Shelby. Chaos Williams turned out. These two, I think, turned out really well. Kobe's not bad, I need to change the body type. Let's see, I need to get rid of someone now. Who am I gonna get rid of? Takashi69, Wade Barrett. I need to get rid of someone. In order to, you know what, Terry Crews is already on the channel, so uh, let's get rid of Terry Crews then, he's already on the channel. Yeah, this is Terry Crews by Slavin, man, absolute cracker. It's over on the channel if you guys wanna check it out. Just reset it to default. <laughs> Paul, I don't know, man. I just seen your comment about that. When's your video with your missus? Yeah, I don't think she's not showing up for it, man. She's, she's not really fast about YouTube. Shania Bowser. Deji's already on the channel, bro. In fact, let me see. You know what? Because you guys have been asking about Deji, I'll probably have to make him as a dedicated video, but let me just see if I can get the link. Past live streams. I'm just gonna let me just have a go at making a female calf. Never got a female cuff, and then I'll see. I'm gonna do. A, I mean, I'll do a goofy one afterwards. Maybe Austin Powers or um, Abraham Lincoln, depending on which one you guys want. I'm just looking for the Deji cuff now on the channel. He's definitely there somewhere. Quick match, quick match. Subscribers, Just give me a second to have a break as well. And it was more recent than that. Formula Sergio Pettis Deji. There he is. I found it. I found it. I found it. Here's the Deji cuff. Dejicaf will be somewhere on that video. I don't think the time is right, but Let's see. Is that the right video? The link wrong video. Yeah, yeah, the Dejicaf is on that video, bro. It's just um, you need to go to the end of it. RJ, welcome to the stream. How's it going? I was um, gonna make a female calf, and I've really forgotten. Someone asked for. Is he still here? The guy that wants the female calf? Can I make Shania? Basla. I oh, know where is RJ man. Thank you for stopping by. How you been? I'll be doing okay today. Shayna Basla. Who is a female? What is she? WWE? Raw. No, she's from Raw. Smackdown. Smackdown Raw. WWE, yeah, basically, isn't it? Gonna go up the comments just a sec, bro. Just a sec because someone someone asked for a female calf who's David's one. I might do David's one, bro. Let me just see. So, I wanted to do one who's actual fighter. We've got one from Bellator. Let me get rid of LeBron for a sec as well. Do you like it, mate? He's gone. Um, man, female calves are hard as well, you know. Make Butterbean, yeah, but bro. Hang on. Look, look, look. Butterbean is right here from literally yesterday we made Butterbean. Hang on, I'll show you. Look, 
What's that? Something happened to Matt Hughes. Is it Matt Hughes you're talking about? Yeah, look, here's, here's Eric Butterbean from yesterday. He's not as fat as the real Butterbean. This is, uh, he's probably a teenager at this point. He hasn't had uh, quite that many burgers yet. Where, who did, who did we just get rid of? Where's he gone? Just got rid of Terry Crews and now he's disappeared. That's trippy. Oh, there he is. Terry Crews. Yeah, yeah, if you want the formula for Butterbean, just check the stream from yesterday, bro. He's on there. Dude, to be honest, I'm most hyped for the one on this weekend. I'm not looking that far ahead yet, because fights can get cancelled and stuff, so I'm not that fast. But this one, this weekend, is the one I'm most hyped for. With the heavyweight title on the line. I don't know what your one is, Paul. I'm going to do this um, MMA Bellator lady, because I wanted to do female fighter. If it goes badly, then I'll jump to that WWE one, bro. Okay, female calves. Good luck to me. I'm not very good at these. Give it a go. Extra small butter bean. Yep, Dan Robert, what's going on? He says, Aiden with a fresh shave, fresh trim. I need to get this. Yeah, I need to get the hair trim as well. To go with it. Shayna Bassler used to do MMA. Okay, she did do MMA before as well. All right, let me see how far I get with this one. And then um, if not, I'll jump to the one that you suggested, bro. Right off the bat, I'm like, man, what are we gonna do about the hair? It must, it's just got, it's gonna have to be one of these mad ones. Chew back her hairstyle. Nah, we just give her, just give her some braids, right? Maybe like one of these or something. Yeah, color brown. I think it's Liz Carmouche's face at the moment. always difficult but yeah let's have a look extra small butter bean no i didn't know about his train training he was hit by a train in 2017 coma paralyzed four weeks dana just nah bro didn't know didn't know how's he he's all right now though if it's that many years ago 2017 nah i didn't know maybe i did and forgot no nah, i don't think so i can't i would nah, the first time i heard of it bro One of these faces, isn't it? How's it going, Surfy? How's it going, man? And uh, Twisted as well. Welcome. It says Julija Stolyarenko. Julija Stolyarenko is another request. Mm, maybe this this face template. Nah, I'm still I'm sticking with this one. Okay, let's give it a go. Female calves. Same process, isn't it? Pretty much. Borkal Benka makes says Jack Erickson, bro. That's a great suggestion, and yeah, check the channel. Borkal's already on the channel, man. He's one of my better calves as well. Have a look, see what you think. Borkal is on the channel. Sanchez on the channel. Yotsen Klaas on the channel. Rod Tang's on the channel. Those were some of the very first ones I made as well, man. Literally every UFC game I've made, Sanchai, Borkow, Yodson, Klai. I made Pakwon as well in UFC 3. I've not made him in UFC 4, actually. I might make him. Sitichai I haven't made. Lerdsilla I haven't made. But I made Ron Tang. I made um, John Wayne Parr. I've made Ramon Deckers. So, yeah, there's a good, there's a good selection. I guess of tie fighters, but yeah, I'd like to do some more, man. But yeah, Borkow's on the channel. He's on the channel. Dashing Cody Rhodes and Stardust. I swear we've done Cody Rhodes as well. Yeah, I think I've done Cody Rhodes. I don't think it turned out well. I don't think is it, is it AEW guy, isn't he? Cody Rhodes. We made him last year, sometime around November, October, November, when we were making AEW guys. Could revisit him because he didn't. I don't. He, no, he turned out okay. It wasn't him. It was the other guy. One of the guys, but he was okay, yeah, he was okay, yeah, so he's on the channel as well. Let's get all these bits done. Ramon Deckers, yeah, Ramon Deckers is on there. John Wayne Parr's on there as well, and John Wayne Parr actually responded to it on Reddit, because I posted it on Reddit, and uh, John Wayne Parr's like, mate, you made him a bit too dashing. He's a little bit too handsome. I'm like, sorry, mate, but that was just a cool moment to, to hear from John Wayne Parr. Very cool. It's official John Wayne Parr, but then, yeah. That was it, he didn't comment again or anything, but yeah, still. 
that was pretty cool. Okay, I think this one's turned out okay. And uh, dashing Cody Rhodes, it's not a stream, it's a video. It's a video. Check the video section. Cody Rhodes' video section. He'll be um when you see on the channel there's AEW guys, like there's a couple of them. He'll be around that time. Just look for him in the thumbnail. I think there was in there was two of them in that video or something. Wow, only four body types. Are you joking? I think I'll leave it then. Only four body types for the females. That's a bit of a joke. Okay, let's uh Get some of the gear. Chocolatito or a holder? I reckon chocolatito, bro, and just start putting pressure on everyone. I have no idea. She's from she's from Bellator, isn't she? Ah, you know what? Forget the gear, man. I'm, I'm just putting UFC gear on. You look and put on whatever. Give the UFC gloves as well. I don't know if they have like foundation or anything, but she's got foundation in that picture. Uh, I need to change the name. It's not Terry Crews, obviously, and eyebrows as well. It's awesome getting rid. Yeah, I was surprised, man. Like, if you go on his Reddit account, I think he's made a couple of posts on Reddit, like ever, and one of them was on the, is on one of one of my posts, and literally only a couple of people commented, and then one of them was John Wayne Parr. Most people on Red, like the EA Sports, from they don't know who John Wayne Parr is, man. Uh, yeah, obviously the rest of us. Muay Thai heads. I think, what was it, age 16 or something? He went over to Thailand to train. Age 16, age 17, 18, something like that. And he was like, literally, he's one of them stories, like Jean-Claude Van Damme. He's just training in the gutter, like sleeping on the stone floor, making a couple of peas, but nothing much. And just living his dream, man, doing the Muay Thai journey. And then he just becomes a legendary fighter. And if you watch his fights, bro, most of it is heart. Like, he's skill-wise, he's not mad. He hasn't got mad skill, but he's just so much heart and he's so tough. John Wayne Parr. And he just, yeah, he was in there with Borkow how many times? He was in there with Yotsen Klai how many times? Absolute dogs. And then he was in there with, in boxing as well. He got knocks out, he got knocked people out in boxing. Quality, man. So yeah, I'm doing eyebrows with... Yeah, this one's turned out really well. I'm really happy with this. Maybe my best cap for the night. I think the face template was... a good selection for this particular one. Uh, Chocolatito is on yesterday's stream, bro. If you need the formula, it's on yesterday's stream. Bryce Hall, Lincoln next. Maybe. Someone was asking for... Um, Austin Bowers. I don't know, let's see. Abraham Lincoln, Austin Powers, we'll have a look. See, I'll, I'll do the one that I can do. I'll look at, I'll have a look. See which one I can actually do out of them too. I'll just fix up her eyebrows real quick as well. Just... A little bit of protrusion. I think this, yeah, this, she looks about done, really. Obviously, the picture that we're looking at, she's got makeup on, but it should be all right. Yeah, cool. That's not Terry Crews, so I will correct the name. Let's get, let's get a height. Um, get the height right as well. Uh, I'm gonna jump to Goofy now, so Austin Powers or maybe Abraham Lincoln. What's her name? Valerie Lurida. Lurida. That doesn't say anything about height. What division is she fighting? Five foot four, okay. Five four. Valerie. Valero Valerie. Okay. Luida. David Benavides. Boxer. Is it? Bryce Hall. I've been a fan for a while, man. Can you do Bryce Hall? Have a look. Bryce Hall, American YouTuber. Oh, we done Bryce Hall today. He's here, bro. Oh, no, he's not. Nice. Oh my gosh, they look so similar. <laughs> we've done Taylor Holder, yeah. All right, cool, he's not the same guy. I thought we'd done him. I was looking at his picture, I was like, hang on, this is the same guy as this one. No, bro, they just got the same hair. I need to figure out who I'm gonna delete next. Um, who's definitely never ever gonna make it to the channel? Uh, these lot, maybe Wade Barrett. 
bunch of these guys I want to work on some more, so I don't want to delete them. Tommy Hearns, not ain't going to get rid of him. King Mo ain't going to get rid of him. Belan Mohammed, if anyone wants, is there. Magomed Ankaliev. Next episode, do the Ottomans. Azaritir, Armand, Nazrat. Armand Taksurin, we've done before. We've done Armand. Out of that list. I'm gonna, I might get rid of Wade Barrett. Have a look. Who was Wade Barrett? It's from WWE. No, from AEW. Ah, I see. A lot of these would be good to put on the channel. King Mo, Ben Swolo. Maybe Jersey Joe Walcott. I think I'm gonna get rid of Jersey Joe Walcott. He's probably one that's. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't delete caps, man, that I've, that I've put effort into. Who am I gonna delete? I don't want to delete anyone from today. I don't want to delete Joshua. None of the boxes. Valerie. I'm not going to switch accounts because I need to go through all the formulas at the end. You know what? It might be Belal Mohammed. I might get rid of him. Yeah, I think. I think so because he's already on the. I yeah, I think. Why do? Because he. He's already on one of the older videos. I'm just going to just go through the formulas anyway. So we template nine, just in case I didn't get catch him on a live stream. And the rest of it is all mostly tattoos, isn't it? Facial hair eighteen, body hair four, black hair for everything, eyes brown, and then yeah, I think it's just tattoos for the eyebrows, isn't it? Yeah, looks like it. Okay, cool. See, Austin Powers, that's kind of creative player territory, man. I think he would he would do a really good one. He does some funky characters like he's done a really good James Bond as well. Austin Powers would fit well. Okay, um. Let me have a look at that server. Discord server, main chat, what's going on? That's a UFC fighter as well. Is she from your country, I'm guessing? What's her name? Julia Stoliarenko. Oh yeah, G Mary, yeah, we got Bella, that's the one man. I don't know, will he become a dedicated video? You know what? Let's jump out of that. Guys, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. We need to make let's try and make one more. You know what? I'm stuck. I don't know who do I delete? Someone tell me who do I delete? I don't know who to delete. I don't want to delete anyone. Should we just end the stream there? I wanted to do one more or two more. Magomed Ankaliev, maybe? Who's the least popular out of these lot? Out of this list I got here. Jorgen Kruf is a Swedish type fighter. Sounds good. He's your favorite. He's a legend in Sweden. Nice. Takashi, get rid of Takashi. Yeah. Yeah, all right, let's get rid of Takashi, man. Forget Takashi. Goodbye. Johnny Depp from Walmart. I need to share that picture again. Okay, cool. So, so let me just have a look at Austin Powers. That guy's jokes, man. How would we do Austin Powers? What hairstyle was it someone suggested earlier for Austin Powers? I think it was like hair 40 something. It's one of the 40s, I, mean, I think it was this one. I'm gonna put him on the screen in a sec. Yeah, yeah, right. Let's make Austin Powers, man. Let's have a laugh. The joke character. Yeah. Let's get her for a sec. First guy. So delete the first guy. The Johnny Depp from Walmart and Takashi. Takashi's gone, so we're cool. I didn't know I was gonna get through this many, to be honest. And yeah, after this one, I'll shout you. I'll shout you guys, man. We'll see. To be honest, I'm forgetting. What does Austin Powers say? He had quite a few sayings, didn't he? I've totally forgotten. Let's just uh, let's work on it a bit. Get in my belly. That's uh, no, but that was, that was the fat fat bastard. That's fat bastard, man. That's not Austin Powers. Same actor, though, isn't it? Get in my belly. Austin Powers. Is he a little chubby? Probably a little bit chubby, isn't he? From the chubby side. Kennedy, who's Kennedy? Kennedy, alright, real UFC fighter. I like suggestions when it's 
Rule 5 is our dude. Never look at his Kennedy. I can't get a picture, bro. What's his name? So you might need to. Oh, you spelled his name wrong. That's fine. Uh, hang on, let me just have a look at this. Oh, his hair's mad. He's got Marge Simpson hair in one of the pictures. Alright, let me get through this one and we'll have a look, guys. We'll have a look as the last one. Real Mayhem's been asking for Kennedy for a while. Okay, let me get through Austin Powers. And then I'll shout you. Probably I will finish with Kennedy. He looks like an easy one to do. Mr. Austin Powers. Does it matter really how close his face is? He's got, got kind of a goofy face anyway. Not the best picture. Um, what's the actor's name? If I get the actor's name, I can just do the, do, do the actor. What's his... Uh, Michael... Mac Myers, that's it. Mike Myers. He looks like one of my mates, actually. Okay. See what we got. Danny Treasure, yeah, that's a good name. Can you put the glasses on? We'll probably have to draw them on, bro. We'll try drawing them on. That's looking for a goofy face. Hang on. I'm kind of just leaning towards this one, but it's a bit too serious looking. We need a goofy face. Yeah, probably this one. Okay. Kennedy made his UFC debut. Is he the guy that I just looked up? Was it two weeks ago, getting hit with the hardest shots, kept getting stunned in then? The other guys gassed out and Kennedy slept him. What weight division is this in? Light heavyweight? I feel like it's light heavyweight, I'm not sure. It looks like one of mates. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do have mates. <laughs> yeah. No, just, just, the, just, the, yeah, I do, I do. There are people that look like this. In my friend circle. Aiden John Jones be looking thick. Is it? Oh yeah, he's been lifting a lot, hasn't he? Mr. John Jones trying to get his, uh, he's trying to fill out his frame at heavyweight and make his entrance, make his, make his appearance in heavyweight. Let's see what happens, man. Because John Jones, I don't know if he's looking as impressive as he was when he was younger. Do you know, he's not. Is he as, is he as dynamic, or is he is he easier to hit now? I don't know. Considering Thiago Santos gave him a good fight, and Thiago Santos had like one leg in, the, in that fight. That's what people are saying. Imagine Var in UFC says so CM Punk. And G. Mary saying he was in heavyweight. Okay, cool. Fair enough, dude. Yeah, he looked like a big guy. That's what I thought. Maybe light heavyweight, but he's a heavyweight. Okay. John at heavyweight is so interesting, says Jack Erickson. John Jones at heavyweight. Well, who's going to be the debut for John Jones? Like, they can't give him some. They have to give him someone in the top 15. They, you can't just feed some newcomer to John Jones because they're going to get absolutely destroyed so he still deserves a good competition but at the same time you don't want to kill John Jones like in his first fight you do want to give him something that like you can't give him Ngannou for his first fight I don't think so or Stipe I don't know I mean DC though DC went up and just fought Stipe straight away so I don't know if Stipe loses to Ngannou does John Jones get a title shot he was like heavyweight champion forever like a long time I mean Mm, I don't know, what do you guys think, man? But yeah, I'm definitely interested to see some more talent in the light heavyweight, in the heavyweight division, especially. Light heavyweight is pretty fire, but heavyweight division. Let's see what Mr. John Jones can do. What kind of eyebrows? Oh gosh, that picture I put up for you guys. Ugh. <laughs> That's bad. You see Aiden strolling down the street and his mates looking like that, like, what? <laughs> What's going on? Like, yeah, man, these are the best kind of people we want to have around, bro. Proper jokers, you know what I mean? CM Punk has found his copy of UFC 4. Nice, bro. Jack saying, John Jones at heavyweight is so interesting. He's going to fight France or Stipe, you're saying. And that's according to Zayna White. Okay, there we go then. That's a big, that's a tall order for Mr. John Jones, but all right. 
He's the kind of guy that does rise to occasions, you know, so... Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited either way. I think like a Curtis Blaze or something would have been a good introduction for John Jones to the heavyweight division. But yeah, it's just throw him straight in the deep end. Why not? Dana's just... Dana's brutal, man. He doesn't care. He does not care. He's like, whatever. You want to fight heavyweight? Okay, you can go fight Ngani. Like, what? Giving him the winner of Stipe Ngani. Yeah. That's good. I like it. I like it. So he's getting his title shot straight away. It's DC. DC's retired now, isn't he? So that's not going to happen. That tr trilogy, would that be? Or is that? Yeah, I think so. Alright, so there's Austin Powers. We just need to make his face a bit more silly. John Jones will be hefty, like he's not fat, but he's a little chubbier. It was his legs, his legs were very skinny, weren't they? So if he fills out his legs a bit more, his upper body, he already had kind of quite a wide, wide wingspan, wide frame, so he can probably pack on quite a lot of muscle on his arms and that, but his legs were very skinny. I remember it had light heavyweight, so I wonder if he's gonna fill out a bit more. Next episode. Yeah, when is the next one? I've watched the first two embedded. Who's Chad, dude? I don't know who that is. Chad Dawson. Lewis versus Rosenstrike. Derek Lewis versus Jarzino Rosenstrike. Yeah, that's a good matchup. I like that. I like that one. I don't think there's much to do with this uh, Austin Powers here. And what else we should do? I need some sideburns. Lewis versus Rosenstrike would be a nice match. Yep. Volkov had better takedown offense, it'd be a good fight. If he was fighting John Jones, you reckon? Yeah, Volkov's still in, he's in the mix as well, isn't he? Not still, he's built his weight up. He's beating everyone along the way. And I think his last victory was against Alistair Overham. He has a good, he has a good solid cross. I can't remember, he has a couple of couple of weaknesses in his defense. But I need to rewatch the footage, but I remember watching the Overham fight and thinking that oh, Ngannou would get it done against this guy because he's easy to hit. It was something like that. It was something like that. But he's got mad power in that cross, isn't he? And he sits down a lot on his punches. Does Alexander Volkov. <laughs> real mayhem with a real matchup saying Derek Lewis versus John Jones. Man, I was, you know, because, you know, Derek Lewis already got back problems. And if he fights John Jones, he's going to have eye problems from all the eye pokes. And his knees are going to be hurting as well, like what, what he did to Rampage Jackson. So I don't know, man. Derek Lewis don't need that stress in his life. Do you know what I mean? Derek Lewis is one of them fighters, bro. He's just going to be. Just give him some nice matchups where he's going to be throwing bombs at people and just lifting them up off their feet. Like, those are the kind of matchups. There's no need for him to fight a John Jones. I don't know. I don't know what you guys think. But, you know, John, the way that he fights with his hand out and stuff. Well, I'm just remembering what he did to Rampage Jackson and thinking Derek Lewis is kind of similar to Rampage Jackson in that he doesn't really, other than his random jumping high kicks that he throws, which never connect, he doesn't really throw kicks that much, does he? And that's a Derek Lewis. Imagine a Derek Lewis leg kick against John Jones, man. Oh my gosh, that would be something to see. Next episode, I don't know, bro. I have no idea. Next episode will be we'll do it on Wednesday again. We'll run these on Wednesdays. I'll see if I got the energy, man. I could I could squeeze another one in somewhere, but unlikely. And I'll see what I can do. Um, because Nazra, did I do any of yours today? Any of your requests? I think was one of them one of your requests earlier. I can't remember. If not, yeah, I'll have a look. See what I can do when I can do. And out of them. But who did you want? Ottoman. Masvidal's full-time fight episodes are so cool. I'm going to have to check that out. I'll have to check that out. Volkov's gotten a lot better. He's, yeah, he's been slept on. Yeah, he's improving. He's hungry as well. And he's quite, you know, his fundamentals are good. He puts good pressure on fighters to make them make mistakes and then catches them. I think I might leave Austin Powers here then. Make a Nasra, okay. Austin, Powers. Powers, Paul, I think I've done, do you know, out of everyone, I might have done the most, no, nah, not the most, maybe the second most request from you, I think so. I made, I think I made like three of your guys, some guys I've not made any, but then you're always here, that's why I try and, I try and make people that, you know, either, either they're popular, I can make them, they look easy, or it's just for people that are really regular on the streams. I think that's a fair way of doing it. And I'm trying to jump from genre to genre, so we do cover a lot of different fighters. And what you're saying is, 
do this female fighter times 851 let me see let me see let me see I could probably even just I could probably dash that your way off stream to be honest bro I could probably chuck that your way off stream leave that one for the stream I'll, I'll see I can chuck that I can chuck that one your way off stream man no worries let me save Austin Powers here Unless other people, Twisted wants it as well. Okay, fair enough. All right, fair enough. We'll finish with Julie then. That's cool, because Twist is another one of the regulars as well. I know a lot of the regulars are here as well. Appreciate all the support. Um, Austin Powers, okay. Who am I going to delete? He's saying get rid of Ben Swallow. It's the Ben Swallow. He never made it to the channel. Valerie, that's a good looking calf. King Mo will probably make it. Bella. You reckon I should get rid of Ben Swallow? Let me see, does he actually look like Ben Swallow? Real mayhem, thank you bro, I appreciate that. What was your what was your request again? You know what that's a nice comment man. Let me let me jot down your scroll up man, hang on. Kennedy. Oh yeah, Kennedy. Okay, you know what? What I'll do, what I'll do, I'm gonna turn off my lights. This way my eyes can have a little break. Right, we're gonna descend into darkness, but I'll get two calves done. We see we descend into darkness, I'll get two calves done, and then we're wrapping up. So I'm gonna do Julija, and then I'm gonna do Real Mayhem's one, and then we're wrapped. So, yeah, when I turn the lights off, no more no more requests, that's what that means. Okay, so Julija, and then um, Real Mayhem, let me grab your one as well, bro. Where was it? And we'll leave it there after that. So, Kennedy, and Kennedy, okay, those two. Kennedy and Julija, they're the last ones. I'll turn the lights off, my eyes can relax a bit. Serial game we made before, yep. I think Austin Powers is done. It's tiring, man. Trust, sitting in front of bright lights all day. Not all day, but like, for a stream. Fucking tires you out, man. All right, cool, Ben Swallow. Sorry, mate, but you're gonna have to go. And Julija, Storia, Larian, Linko. Yeah, we're the, we're the dark knight, this is the dark camera. The dark knight. Okay, Cyril again, yeah, G Murray, if you check on the channel actually, I, I put a video out of him a couple of months ago, I think it was, of um, Cyril again. Oh, Let's gave her a moustache, that was not intentional. Story Alenenko. Okay. Hey, yeah, drop a 24 hour stream, just make all the calves possible and then just sleep. Oh, okay, they have they have a few template female ones. I didn't realize that. I don't know why, but this template already looks kind of close. So we're gonna do uh, what's her name? Julija Stolier and then Nenko. Let me get a picture up as well for you guys. And yeah, no, I'm not taking any more requests today. So shout me on the next one. We're gonna do this Julija, and then we're gonna do um, Kennedy. Kennedy, and then uh, shout me next Wednesday, dudes. I type in face, bro. All I got is her face getting busted up, so I'm I'm gonna have to just uh, actually know we got one here. Why is there two? There's two different. Oh no, it's the same lady. She's got different hair. Okay, cool. It's getting confused there. How's it going, the boy who lived? How's it going, mate? We're descending into darkness in this stream. After a certain point, we just enter the dark zone, and that's where we are now. We are in the dark side. Anakin Skywalker business. Not literally. We're actually making the UFC fighters here for the last two. Julija Storlyrelenenko. Sorry, I butchered the name. Okay, cool. And Sugar Ray Robinson, yes, I've done Sugar Ray Robinson before. I've done Cyril Game before, yep. They are on um, streams, they're not they're not like dedicated videos. Cyril Game's a dedicated video actually, but the other one is not. that face template what, what eye color is this girl got she looks kind of like fedor she looks a bit like fedor i don't know why and yeah what's going on the boy who lived bro you're gonna have to shout me later on or drop it as a comment in one of my videos because we've got two more here and then we're wrapping it up okay i'm gonna speed this up a bit so for the hair Uh, yeah, I'm not sure about the hair, bro. I'll let you guys pick that. Let's just figure out the face. 
for you guys. Uh, maybe this one. Let's have a look. Boy who lived. Did I read his name wrong? Hopefully not. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't read it like that. Mate, what is wrong with these face templates? Some of them are just... Same with the men, men ones as well. There's really difficult to use. But I think this yeah, this is probably this face template, right? Okay, cool. Appearance. See if we can get an eyebrow to match with it. And then after we'll finish with that, what was it, the MMA cap? If you guys wanted to see, we'll finish with that. And yeah, I'm probably, oh, nine o'clock, yeah, that's all good. Might get some weights in, actually. I hit the bag earlier for about half an hour. I still got some energy to do some weights. I might hit the weights after this, yeah, yeah. Weights will be good, actually. Weights are good, man. Even I've done some, I've done some yesterday. I'll probably just do this similar stuff. Probably not deadlifts. I mean, what do I want to do today? What do I want to do today? Maybe I'll do some bent over rows, do some more bench press. Um, just easy ones, man. <laughs> I'll do some easy ones today. Yeah, I'm going to hit the weights after this. There we go. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Um, all right, cool. Catch up. Patrick Starr from SpongeBob or Joseph Stalin. Wow, that's, that's, a, bit, that's a bit of a jump, bro. To go from Spongebob to Stalin, man. That's a bit... I don't know how you jump from one to the other, but... I probably won't make Stalin, man. I ain't gonna make any dictators or anything like that. I don't know. Maybe presidents will make... I think we tried to make a couple before. We made Boris Johnson one time. But yeah, Stalin, Hitler, them lot. Nah, I ain't gonna do it, man. I don't wanna get banned from YouTube. Abe Lincoln, yeah, that, that is a good shot. We'll make Abe Lincoln, don't worry about that. Okay. Hey, welcome back, Jack Hill, right on the dot, bro. Nine o'clock, no, 8.59 even. Yeah, we're doing two more caps. I've got um, Julie, I don't know how to say her name, Julie, and we've got, after that, we're gonna do Kennedy as well, who's a UFC fighter, heavyweight fighter. We've had a request for Spongebob, a couple others, Joe Biden, Vladimir Putin. Putin would be kind of hard to make, I think. He's no, yes, yeah, the nose, isn't it? It's the nose that would be hard. Joe Biden's too old for this game, man. Come on. You want to give the guy a heart attack, he, would, he wouldn't even make it up the stairs going to the octagon. But if you look on president fights, I mean, it was very popular in UFC. It was in, in Final Champion, the presidents, they were the most downloaded, weren't they? Got that Barack Obama was on like the first page or something, you could download him. Funnily enough, Hitler's on there as well. Yeah, you probably don't realise. Hitler's like one of the most downloaded calves or something on Final Champion. What's that about? Batista to the list. Okay, nice, you made Batista. And yeah, are you okay? You've updated his tattoo. Sounds good, dude. Yeah, send it, send it my way when it's done, dude. I'll have a look. Putin is a judo guy. It would be great. Wasn't he like... Yeah, judo. Fair enough. Jack Hills has done free tattoos because it was 100 100. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Jack. For those of you guys who don't know, Jack's like one of the... He's, he, I don't know. He's maybe one of the best at making tattoos in this game in terms of like... The body tattoos and stuff, proper. The way he does it, time he spends on it. I'm not surprised. You're gonna need more. You're gonna need more more slots to be honest. Probably not enough of a hundred, is it? I don't think we can change her lip color. But what we can do is chuck one of these. Just a little tint to it. The eyebrows are messed up, isn't they? We're gonna have to do something about that. Is that working? No. What other shape can I use? Hang on. 
<laughs> make it look like the Joker now. I need a shape, I need a shape. Come on, man, where is it at? It is up from there. You can do the tattoos, but not the face. I'm the opposite, bro. I can do the face, but the tattoos are just, they drive me nuts, man. Tattoos, it's like, it's like, um, like graphic design or graf even graffiti, I'm thinking like, it's kind of similar thing, isn't it? Bro, these lips are hard, but you know, nearly got there. But some guys like Creative Player, I will enjoy them guys. They they can do both, man. I don't know how. I always struggle with the tattoos. They really. I need a zoom button. I can't see what I'm doing. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I'm not very good at makeup, at doing lipstick, guys. But you guys get the idea. You can use that red shape just to try and. Oh my gosh. That's the... <laughs> so that's, that's terrible. Hang on. Let's get rid of that. We'll just let her have the ghoulish looking lips. She can keep the ghoulish lips. But that's an idea for how you can change lip color anyway. And Owen has made a debut with Chocolatito in the UFC. Nice, dude. How's, it, how's his first fight going? Are you going to make him into a boxer? You can try a different style or you're gonna make him box or what are you thinking? Alright, cool, there's the lips. Bro, I'm running low on energy, you know. So I'm gonna try and get through this one. And then we can work on it again later as well. But the trouble is it's the eyebrow shape, her eyebrow shape and the eyebrows. Maybe it's better even just to draw them on. Female eyebrows in this are bad, man. Like, honestly, I think it's better for us to draw them on, so let's try that. With a, what should we use? I would say Mythos font, but let's, let's go for Critter because it's got straight angles. The angles on it are a bit straighter. Might be, oh my goodness, look at <laughs> the shape of that, hang on. Hang about, hang about. Something like this. Oy. Oh, I still gotta go through all the formulas as well, don't I? Okay, let's just, I'm just gonna do it with this. I mean, if you guys pick up a better eyebrow selection, let me, let me know what you're going for and I can update mine as well. And team effort this one, man, because I'm struggling with the eyebrows. Kinda works. Maybe chuck one on this end as well. Uh, for about 20 minutes bro, I'm guessing, because I'm trying to get through this one. I've got one more after this. I should have stopped at nine, because I'm knackered now. I'm gonna be pissed off later, trust. But it's cool, we're getting there. So let's get this one done, and we've got one more. Come on bro, we're at the finish line. You know what I'm saying man? What's going on people? Joshy, what's going on, dude? Welcome to the stream. So who you got this weekend? Stipe or Francis Ngannou? Well, I think Stipe could get it done more than Ngannou. I don't know. I want Ngannou to win. I want to start the Ngannou era now. I believe it should be the start of the Ngannou era. What do you think, Joshy? Like, imagine Ngannou as champion, man. Just the most intimidating guy on the planet. He's just an absolute monster, bro. Like... But either way, John Jones apparently is going to be fighting next against whoever wins that one. So John Jones is in the mix as well. So we'll see what happens with John Jones and Stipe probably. But I want Ngannou to win. I want Ngannou to win. And the thing is, if Stipe wins, that's that's cool. But you know, no one's going to get to fight Stipe because Ngannou is just going to kill everyone on the way up. Like, who's going to get through Ngannou to get to Stipe? No one, bro. So it's like it's literally the number the number one contender versus the champion, like legit. Apart from John Jones, obviously, but we ain't seen John Jones yet in heavyweight. Is he gonna be moving around as much? Alexander Gustafsson got murked by like a 40-year-old. They're doomed, you know what I mean? Is John Jones gonna have the same fate? I don't know. But yeah, let's see what happens, Joshi. And you're saying Engon is gonna knock him out clean. Knock him out clean. Alright. He, he's going to have learned from the first fight. And then come on, man, he didn't have much experience at all when they got into that first match. The UFC rushed him straight into a title shot. So, 
Yeah, I can see it happening. I can see it happening. But Stipe, he's Golden Gloves boxer for you know for a reason, man. He's got the skills. He's got the skills, but he can be caught, and he's gonna get caught. That's the thing. He's gonna eat punches from Engano. It's gonna happen. You can't avoid punches for all twenty-five minutes, can you? It's just about damage control for for Stipe. And you know, I was watching um, Dan Hardy's breakdown. He was saying Stipe was actually doing a good job attacking the lead leg of Engano because Engano is quite heavy on the lead leg, which is what we do see happen against boxers like what happened to McGregor as well. So if Stipe works the lead leg, you know, tries to take away, make it into a kickboxing match at range. And then when he gets the chance to get that snatch takedown, you know, duck under, get the leg, take him down. And then Ngannou is going to be thinking about the kicks and then he's going to be thinking about the takedowns. And, you know, yeah, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. And and Jack Hill saying Ngannou is going to knock him out. Josh is saying that as well. And uh, Paul saying Lewis, Derek Lewis got through Francis. Francis doesn't KO Steve in the first two rounds. He definitely won't last to a decision. Francis, you think Francis Ngannou won't get to a decision? I don't know, man. I think he can make it to a decision. He's made it before. He did go through all the deep waters. I don't know mentally where he's at, but he seems all right. You know what I mean? He seems up for it. Let's see what happens, man. MBBK, welcome to the stream. Did you say Misha Tate is coming back? Oh, is she? Misha Tate's making a return. How old is she now? But uh, yeah, she was actually, I, I quite like watching her fights. Around the Ronda, she was like the Ronda Rousey's nemesis, wasn't she? She could never beat her though. See what happens. Miocic will grapple him and win, says Thomas Lee. Stipe Miocic with a grappling, with a takedown. Stipe got knocked down by DC, but Ngannou hits harder than DC. Yes, but when Stipe got knocked down by DC, he didn't see it coming. Whereas against Ngannou, Ngannou kind of can tend to wind shots up from distance you know if he can surprise him i mean the thing is i mean yes yeah, stipe doesn't engon doesn't need to surprise the, like he can catch him with enough power that he doesn't you know you can see the punch coming and still get hurt by engon basically is what i'm trying to say Let's see what happens man what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna jump out of this one and we'll do we'll do the last calf for the evening which is kennedy and then i'll go for all the calf formulas and then we are wrapped Miocic by round five K by round five KO says MBBK. You know when you say that, I think of uh, Colby Covington versus Tyron Woodley. Colby Covington versus Tyron Woodley, something like that. Who am I gonna get rid of? Who am I gonna get rid of? King Mo I ain't getting rid of. I'm really leaning towards Jersey Joe Walcott, and I think I will get rid of Jersey Joe Walcott. Yeah, all right, Joe Walcott's gonna go, and in this place is Kennedy. Kennedy is gonna make an appearance. And yeah, those of you who are wondering who just turned up why the lights are off, my eyes are getting tired, so I've turned off the lights. Just to get through these last bits. What's the guy named Kennedy? Okay, cool, this is a UFC fighter heavyweight, made his debut the other day, and he got a knockout win. So let's, uh, let's go. Go on this one. Let's see MBBK's interesting prediction. Let me check that one. Miocic, yeah, round five KO, yeah, exactly. That is an interesting prediction. And what was I saying? Yeah, Tyron Wood against Colby Covington. Colby Covington was just able to grind him out and just deal with that power with heavy pressure, just wrestling and just keeping him occupied the whole time. If Stipe does something similar, works the leg kicks, works the takedowns, works the boxing as well, you know, let, let Ngani worry about some shots as well. It could be interesting and yeah, when are we finding out? On Saturday, Sunday, so yeah, it's only like three days away. I need to catch up on the third episode. I've seen the first two episodes. And then I'm about halfway through Dan Hardy's breakdown of it. I watched the episode on... Not Stipe. Francis Ngannou. And he's like set up a BJJ school in his hometown, which is pretty cool. That's about it, really. That's as far as I got. And the CM Punk went to Africa a week ago. Nice. Where did you go, dude? And Gondi will not get KO'd. I promise you that's a Jack Hill. Yeah, I don't think he will. If he does, then that's going to be a shocker. But yeah, I don't think he will. If he does, I think it will be it will be unexpected. Like, it will just come out. I don't know. It will just be an unexpected one. Because I don't think Stipe is going in with that kind of game plan, is he? Like, other fighters tried that. JDS tried that. Alistair Overroom tried that, they all just got knocked out, do you know what I mean? 
Uh, which hairstyle are we going for? We're going for the obviously, obviously, it's going to be this one, right? And then there's another hairstyle that goes with him as well, so you can swap out for that one if you want. I think it's uh, one of the afros, right? It's got a mad beard. Maybe just this one, yeah. Miocic will work the clinch, chain wrestle, tire his arms out to drain the power, says MBBK, yep. Work shots to the body, work the leg kicks as well, I'm going to add those in. And then all Engano has to do is just land that one punch bro, one punch or three punch combos. Use the speed, like Engano doesn't get much credit for how fast he is, but he's very fast and explosive man. Let's see what happens, let's see what happens. I just hope it goes more than like the first round. I want to see like a little, you know what I mean? If it's over in 10 seconds, you know the Nganu, the Nganu wins tend to be like 30 second matches or something. The Cain Velasquez one I was excited for and then it was just over in like a minute or something, wasn't it? And it's like, oh, what happened? You know, it's Cain Velasquez, he just, just got caught and that was it, done. Uh, maybe this face template for this one. Maybe this face template. Is it this face template? It's not this face template. No. Try for one. But who else is fighting? Sean O'Malley's fight, man. No one's talked about Sean O'Malley. What do you guys think about the Sean O'Malley fight, man? Who's his opponent and what, what's his opponent good for? What's he known for? Because I'm not sure. I've not looked it up. But that that that's interesting as well because he lost his last fight, didn't he? Has he made adjustments? Is he going to be having to, you know, did he have problems with that calf for a reason or were the calf kicks? Are they just <laughs> that powerful? I don't know. I think, who is he fighting? We'll see anyway. I'm, I'm going to check it out. I'll check it out. Check it out and find out. Printed was here yesterday, bro. Printed's still, yeah, he's back. He's back. He's around. Printed's still around. He's, uh, he's doing all right. And uh, yeah, he's, he's still here. I don't know. I'll ask him if he wants to come back to the Discord or when he wants to. He can come back whenever. But yeah, he's, uh, he's still around, bro. Alrighty then. Sean by KO. Sean O'Malley by KO, says Tony. I mean, would you have it any other way for Sean O'Malley to get, if he's going to get a win? It's going to be a KO, right? Little bigger nose. Yep, we'll get on that. And Bembe BK is saying O'Malley's going to lose. Let me just catch up on some of the early ones as well about the Miocic. Reading for it, Paul saying he's over room for Ngani. Body shots land on DC, work on Francis. I don't think so. I mean, if he lands him, yeah, but I don't think it's going to be easy to land shots on. DC's got short arms, stubby arms. He's kind of, you can work him at range. Ngani, you can't do that. But leg kicks against Ngani, yeah. Ngani could get stunned. Stipe tries to finish him, bang out of nowhere, KO. Oh man, he's going to lose Almeida. He's fighting Thomas Almeida, okay. Thomas Lee saying, late round, Stipe will okay, we'll sub him. Dana wants Tyron Woodley to lose so he can cut him, says Joshi. Who remembers that meme, says CM Punk. Which meme, dude? Are you sure? What? That could be what stuns where. Let me just catch up. Jack Hill says, Engano lifted Shaq. If Stipe manages to get Ngannou on the ground, he will not be able to hold him. Ngannou will get up easily, but Stipe could land a few hard punches while Ngannou gets up. What, tire him, tire him down on the way up or something? Oh, stun him. Bam Bam Power, a new UFC champion. Oh wait, the other way. <laughs> Shit, I didn't see that twist, bro. I didn't see that twist. That could be what stuns Ngannou, but Ngannou goes, Stipe goes for a finish and Ngannou just out of nowhere has some wild power and he's the new UFC champion. Okay. Bro, I'm gonna have to get. I'm gonna have to get popcorn ready in advance. I'm gonna have to get my popcorn ready in advance. I'm gonna get my supplies, man. Cause it's gonna be a good one. I'm gonna watch it the day after. The way that you're describing it, it's gonna be a good one. I'm getting hyped now. Francis gets it done. Says Jack Erickson. His wrestling is a lot better in terms of defense than what it seems. Dan Hardy's breakdown. Literally just before I started the stream, I was watching a bit of that in the background. He said, um, Ngannou is very good at reaching for underhooks. He's quite instinctive. He knows what to do. 
even if he's not wrestling he doesn't wrestle offensively but he knows what to do defensively and he showed it against Curtis Blades and obviously he's had more time to improve like Curtis Blades didn't even take him down did he in the second fight and he didn't have issues taking him down in the first so yeah man let's see what happens let's see what happens Corner looks like a cooked potato in this game what's wrong with his face says Paul first time reaction even live reaction Possible. I don't know man. I like to just watch it and just chill and enjoy the fight. If I have a camera in front of me, I'm not it's not gonna be as natural. But I'll try, I'll try, I'll try, I'll try. Could chuck a camera on. Maybe on my phone. Maybe I'll do it on my phone or something. That way I can still watch it downstairs. She's gonna see me like shocked. What? Nah, it'd probably be probably be a steep a five round clinic man just staying on the outside doing his boxing keeping distance working the leg kick getting a takedown and he gets a takedown early in round number one probably about 30 seconds into the fight stipe gets a takedown and then lays there for the whole round or something second round comes out we're like come on in going to no stipe landed leg kicks and going to goes for it but then stipe again gets a takedown about a minute and a half into it and then we're like, okay, this is a different steep A. That, that could happen. That could very well happen. Let's see, man. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm hoping my prediction is wrong. That's my prediction. That's my prediction. It will start like that and then just snowball. Okay, for this guy, I think I'm going to chuck on the last bit, which is his tattoo here. And then we'll go over the formulas for all the guys from today and ladies as well. France has underrated leg kicks. I think he does, yeah. Well, oh, France is, yeah, let's see, man, because he's evolving, right? That's what you guys are saying as well. He's an evolving athlete. They all are, though, to be honest, like Stipe, even. even. Even at, like, where he is in his career. Look at Jan Blahovic, for example. Let's see what happens, man. I've got nothing left to say about it. Let's just see what happens. I'm excited. This guy has turned out okay. He's not the best calf, but. I'm going to save him there, because I'm running low. Nice, Owen. Owen's playing Karima with Chocolatito. Only won by unanimous decision. Nice. And Jackson, I'm telling you, Nganu will knock Stipe out, man. Clean. It's going to happen, says Jack Hill. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'll get these uh, formulas out. I might turn this light back on, man. For a little while. Bruh, that's Brett. Just get this last bit done. Okay, cool. Where's the... Uh... I'm just going to move my camera to the right and then I'm going to go for all the calf formulas. Try myself over here. Okay, cool. So the first one is Lujija. Have you seen Ngani's new training? No, I need to check that, bro. I saw the embedded, I had it on in the background, so I was just listening in, and then bits that caught my attention, I was just having a look, checking it out. But I've not seen his um, much of his new training. I saw the pad holder was like saying he should get hazard pay or something for the amount of damage that Ngani does just hitting the pads and stuff. But yeah, I don't see why not, why why he wouldn't throw leg kicks. The only thing that might put him off is if, if Stipe gets enough, if Stipe can get a takedown off it or something. Then that would maybe discourage him, but Yangon is so powerful, man. It's ridiculous, right? Raymond Bishop says suffix. Yeah, bro, maybe next time. Give me a shout. Raymond Bishop, I think he's the brother of Andre Bishop and Vina Champion, right? I'm just uh, going through the calf formulas now. And then um, go hit some weights, man. Easy, light, light work. Nothing heavy today. I've already done my gym session. Well, I did I did my boxing rounds earlier anyway. For the eyebrows for this one, I use Creator Font. You guys can fill it in a bit more if you use some of the text, like, um, what's that font called, hang on? Clever font, yeah, if you use Clever font number nine, you could probably fill out the eyebrows a bit more once you've done the Critter font. As another layer, I didn't do it because it takes so long, but yeah, if you do that with the eyebrows, you can get them there. That's Julija. Jack's like, right hand from Engarnu, and Stipe goes down. How do you think he sets it up though? How do you think he sets it up? 
I can see. What what was um, interesting anyway in the breakdown from Dan Hardy? I've only seen about half of it. He was breaking down the first Stepe fight, and um, Engano throws left, right, left, right, left, right in his combinations. But what if Engano this time doubles up on one side, or something like that? You know, like kind of Chris Weidman, what Chris Weidman did to Anderson Silva. He doubled up on the same side, and then he threw the other side punch. It was something like that. It was I can't remember if it was that way around or it was the other way where he finished with double on the one side. But if, if Ngannou does something like that to throw off Stipe's head movement, it could happen, man. I mean, it, it makes it, you know, if someone's swinging mad punches at you, it's easier to duck under them. And naturally, you want to just duck and grab their hips or something, grab their legs. But if, if Ngannou can do what Volkov does, which is he stalks people, makes them uncomfortable, and then when he sees it, he throws that cross right down the middle as well. Then we can see fireworks, chat. We can see what you're saying happen. I can believe it. I can believe it. What, who do you think is the best cat for the night? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe this one. Maybe Valerie. I'm pretty pleased with this one. Especially because I'm, I'm not very good at female calves. But then, that said, I don't try and make too many. So I, need to, I just need to do more of it, really, to get better at it. But yeah, maybe this one, man. Let's have a look at some of the other ones we've done as well. I'm going to go through the, I'm going through them all now anyway to get all the formulas on here. Joshy, how's it going, bro? I'm going to run Fight Night Champion probably next Monday. We'll carry on. If people are interested. If not, we can do um, UFC Undisputed as well. I want to play that. Okay, what other formulas we got that I need to get over? From today, Austin Powers. Yeah, Austin Powers. Let's get him done. Yeah, probably it's going to be... A, we can do a Monday stream on Fight Night. But Friday, I'm going to do UFC. So if people are interested, we can do what we did before where we had some um, Fight Night fights at the end when we're done with the UFC ones. But I don't want to promise anything. It's probably just going to be UFC. But Monday, we should we should do a Fight Night Champion one on Monday. I think that'd be cool. Pick up where we left off. I was tired. I was tired to be honest. Last couple of days, I was last week. I was ill from like the middle of the week. Some food poisoning business, man. I don't know. I didn't cook the food properly. There's chicken as well. And then, uh, but yeah, next week we can pick it up. Fight Night Champion. Jack Hill saying, I think it will be unexpected. Steve could get a weak right punch while he's at the cage. Move to the left and go on. Big right hand waiting for him on the exit. I've seen in Stipe's um, training footage, anyway, what they're trying to do is they're trying to get him to be very loose and fast. That's what his trainer was saying. He's like, loose, loose. Be the, the looser you are, the faster you're going to be. He's trying to stop Stipe from getting tense. And there was footage of him, like, Mark Hunt was loading up on the right hand, for example, and Stipe just ducked under it, man. He just reads it. Stipe's good at reading punches, so ngani has got a... Like you said, man, he's got to catch him. Like, he's got to throw some other stuff, throw some light stuff, throw some different different tempo things, and then throw that big bomb. Like, if he tries to bomb rush him like he did against Jarzinho, it's just not going to work. Stipe's just going to circle out. And just, just run, basically, for like, until he needs, you know, just get out of there, run, bro. It's an octagon. You don't need to cut corners, man. You need to run. <laughs> it's Ngani chasing you, and then Ngani gets, starts tired. And then, boom. Nah, it was me, man. I'm, 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 I, I cooked. It was my, my own cooking, bro. I don't know, bad ingredients or something. Let's have a look at Kennedy now. So I've got how many more? We got, we got five more to get through. Cool. Steepa in the clinch. All right, so there's another one of Jack's predictions. Steepa in the clinch, right hand into Engano's body. Half a second later, bang, right up a cut from Engano. Steepa's head goes flying out the octagon. Steepa. Miocic is in the audience, he's in the crowd. Stipe's gone. To another dimension. Yeah, do you reckon? It couldn't happen. I don't know. Let's see. You're getting me so hyped for this fight now, bro. My hype levels are like 8 out of 10. Now it's 10 out of 10. I have to watch all the footage, do all the analysis now. Watch all the rest of Dan Hardy's thing as well. CM Punk saying, my price prized, my most prized possession almost broke. It's Valentina Rossi's 2011 motorcycle. Nice, bro. Got a little motorcycle collection going on there, and it's a Valentina Rosie. I don't know who that is, but cool, dude. And how did you break it? Or nearly broke it? Was you was in traffic or something? Someone someone hit you with a car or something like that? Or is it just broken down? Wolverine calf, we've already done, bro. Yeah, good shout, but I've already done that one. With the uh, yellow and blue outfit. Ah, it's a model replica, cool. And it nearly broke it, is it? Well, at least it's alright then, isn't it? If it's not broken, it's not broken. Kazma with a gamble. I took, I took, the command's still there actually. 
And it was, it was like exclamation mark top. Okay, so that's Kennedy. What have I got on the bottom layer? I've got shapes 19. Clever font and um, shapes number nine. For the arms, we've got these ones as well. Stipe's chin has just been absolutely destroyed. And gone his fist like a sledgehammer straight through Stipe's chin. Now, Stipe's got a chin on him, though, let's be honest. But then DC did catch him. DC did. DC did check that chin. I think the only fire, really? Did Stefan Struve do it as well? I don't know, I can't remember. Ian Gary says Lewis. I'm just going through the formulas now, bro. We've wrapped it up today. It's been, uh, it's been an all right one, but how many did we get done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight caps today. That's all right. Taylor Holder, which is the next one? It's supposed to be five foot three or something, someone said. Let's fix that one up then. Something about that height. Fix up all the hair on that. Wolverine calf. Yeah, all right, I see that one. If Engon tries to be smart, he could jab straight. And in round two, Stipe will be expecting that combination. Stipe will absolutely smash out everywhere and then he'll change up the combo and catch him. Set traps in it and then suddenly unleash the Engonu. Yeah, let's see what happens, man. Let's see what happens. Stipe's got that Deontay Wilder style to him, man. He can just out of nowhere just explode on you with some mad punch and just catch you and clean. That's it. It's done. So let's see what happens. How's it going all about your blah, blah? And Ian Gary, not today, bro. Ask me next Wednesday and I'll probably, the stream would have started earlier than this. We've done it. Probably, if, I'll try and start a bit earlier next time. Then I've got more time. But yeah, shout me next time, dude. Brian Ortega, we've already done. We've already done Brian Ortega. He is on one of my earlier videos. Did I go through the sliders? I don't even know. Yeah, all about your blah, blah. How's it going, man? How you doing? I'm going to run some UFC fights on Friday. If you're interested, give me a shout. Prakera, welcome back. Yeah, I'm still here, dude. How's it going? We're talking about the Stipe fight on the weekend. We're talking about the um, Sean O'Malley fight as well. He's fighting Thomas Almeida. People are saying Thomas Almeida is going to get it done. Someone else was saying Sean O'Malley is going to get a knockout. And Jack Hill's just giving his predictions on every single way that Ngannou can win this, win this on the weekend. And get my hype levels going, man. It'll be good. I hope there's no complications as usual. Like, nothing goes wrong for the fight, for the build-up. Anything like that. And Kazma's like, I got used to you with a no beard. This is the no beard, but give me two days, the beard is going to be back. That's how quick. I've got Turkish genetics, man. We've we got beards overnight. For sure, if I'm home early enough. Sounds good, bro. Because hopefully there's going to be an update out as well. I'm hoping that an update comes out tomorrow. That would be good. There usually is right around the big event. But then I think the update that they've done this time might just be that. The stats update. I think that might be it for now. Ian Gary on the stream? Nah, bro. I'm done for this stream. This stream is done. Stream was done at nine o'clock. I'm still going. But um, I'm going to do some gym, man. I need to bounce. I'm getting tired as well. But on the next one, shout me. Shout me on the next one. I don't want to kill myself because when I kill myself on streams, I don't want to do it. That's the problem. That's why I'm, I'm trying to be mindful now of how much time I spend on it because otherwise I just don't want to do it. That's just how it is, isn't it? But yeah, we got through eight today. About five of them turned out pretty decent. Three of them could use a bit more work. Overall, pretty happy. People seem pleased as well, so it's all good, man. For this guy, we've got eyebrows going on, critter font number nine. All over the eyebrows. And on this side as well. And then I've got uh, shapes nine. And I think I think it was Zachary who was asking for this. I showed him how to do this earlier, but basically, it's the clever font. Aiden, who do you think will Oh shit, Ngannou got knocked out. Oh wait, sorry, Ngannou knocked Stipe out. Sorry bro, I read that wrong. I read that wrong. Don't don't tell me that Ngannou got knocked out. <laughs> who do you think will win? Nah, Ngannou can't get knocked out, man. He's a superhero. It's not gonna happen. Save this one. Thomas Shelby's done. Go for the last few, 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 last few. Okay, who we got? Our last two. Okay, cool. Chaos Williams and then... Um, Kobe Bryant needs a bit more work, so maybe I'll I'll do his, I'll show his formula for now anyway, but he needs more work. Chaos Williams turned out alright as well. 
to do with the hair, and hair number 10, Browns 9. But yeah, speaking ahead, there's some other UFC events going on as well. I think Kamara Usman, Jorge Masvidal are going to run it again. I don't think that fight's going to be as close as the one this weekend. And it'll, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be good. You know what the thing is like if Engano loses, it's not the end of his career or anything like that. He'll be back in the title contention again. It will literally take him about two or three fights. They'll put him back up there again, man. There's no way they're gonna like do what they did last time, which is they made him because he lost so badly last time. That's why they gave him so many fights and like it took ages for him to get back to the title. And DC was around that whole DC trilogy. They were cashing in on that. This time there's no DC trilogy to cash in on. So I reckon even if he loses, he'll be back in there, man. Like, let's say, let's say he loses, Stipe takes the belt, then Stipe loses to John Jones, then obviously Ngannou is going to be the matchup, isn't he? So either way, Ngannou is good, man, as long as he doesn't get absolutely annihilated, which he won't. As for Stipe, I don't know, man, if he loses, then Stipe is like, he's one of the guys that the UFC just don't promote, isn't he, Stipe? Which is annoying because he's, he's a stand-up guy, but yeah, they just never promoted him really. Great champion. Got um, tattoos here and one over here as well. Last one is there. And yeah, Jack, I'll catch you soon, bro. Enjoy the fights if I don't catch you on Friday. Take care, man. All right, all right. What are you saying, Gregor's? Gregor's saying I've got my first job interview in a couple of weeks. Got back from the store. Okay, sounds good, man. Get your, get your prep done, bro. Get your prep done. Find out the name of your whoever's going to interview you as well. Find out a bit about the company. And just go get it, bro. Uh, create cash. Nasty, nasty. Maybe next time, dude. I'm done for today. So, uh, you know what? Let's just change Kobe Bryant's body. It's probably a bit of weight here. There we go. Okay. Mr. Kobe Bryant. That's the hair, man. It's just something so much about this that I'm just like, it's, it's not quite there. But I'll, I'll get the formula anyway. Maybe one of you guys can finish this one. I don't know. Might just be one of them ones that I can't do. Skin tone, eight, body four, and the head bits. CM Punk says, I fixed my Eddie Hall because I couldn't blend the tattoos in. So I left it as one tattoo on either side of the head. Nice. How's it looking, dude? Are you in the Discord group? If you're in the Discord group, drop the link, drop the picture, and I'll have a look. If not, shout me if you've got somewhere I can go and check it out. I'll be interested in having a look. Eli the Gamer says he can't find Ortega. Ortega is on there somewhere. I'm going to have a look. Well, I'll have a look for you as well before I finish this. So this is the... Yeah, that's, that's it. So that's done. Let me just see if there's anyone else I missed. Nah, that's cool. we got all of the names in. All right, let's have a look. So who are we looking for, sorry? Brian Ortega. Okay, I'm having a quick look around the channel now for you. Who's that? Someone said they made Jacksepticeye. Oh no, that's that's not that's Jacksepticeye's. <laughs> I'm subscribed to Jacksepticeye, that's why I made this. I don't know what he's on about. Okay, cool. So who are we looking for? Brian Ortega, right. Brian Ortega. Let me just keep the comments up here as well. See if anyone writes anything. And yeah, thank you all for tuning in today, guys. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the show. Got a decent amount of calves, man. Solid. Just having a look for Brian TCT Ortega now. And I bet I've not tagged the video. No, I haven't tagged the video. That was my bad. <clears throat> Let's have a look. Chilled stream. UFC subscriber fights. Creating fighters. Let me check that one. Subscriber fights. Call of Duty. Creating fighters. Let me check that one. Creating fighters again. Man, how many have we done? Quite a few in it. Okay, I'm checking out four of the latest videos. Brian TC to will take away. He's definitely not in that one. No, it's not in that one. Okay. Ian Gary, not today, bro. Sorry, not today. I'm, I'm not making any more today, man. That's a wrap for today. I'm tired. Okay, I found Brian TC to your Ortega. Who was asking for Brian Ortega? I found him, bro. He is. Hang on. He's in this video here. Don't crash. Yeah, Brian Ortega is in this video, bro. 
I'm not sure what the timestamp is. It looks like around 40 minutes, 40 minutes, something like that. It looks like Brian Ortega. His picture's up at 40 minutes. Did we actually do him? Hopefully. If not, I'm going to check another video. Yeah, yeah, there he is, there he is. Check out um, 46 minutes. 47 minutes, 47 minutes. 46 minutes, 47 minutes, 46 minutes. Yeah, 46 minutes, 46 minutes. He's in the 46 minute mark on that video I've just linked to Eli. Yeah. Right, that free as well, bro. Okay, cool. Yeah, all good, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you for all the support, as always. Hope you guys enjoyed the show and this, the calves are of decent quality. Um, I think some of them, actually, I really like. This uh, Lou Reader turned out really well. Also, Thomas Shelby and Chaos Williams. I think those three are the best ones of tonight. And then I'd say Kennedy and Julia. I think she needs some eyebrow work. And then the other two, Taylor, is okay. And uh, this guy is right off. <laughs> this guy is right off, let's be honest. <laughs>